are your shirtless videos the ones that perform the best? Because <laughs> from what I've seen, <laughs> that scares me sometimes as well. When you think about this is your, this is you. You know, this is everything you've got. Yeah. If my TikTok got taken, I'm like, oh, back on looking for jobs now. Then I've got no money. <laughs> Apex Legends definitely gets me the most views, even now. If I make one about that game, just gets loads of views. For, um, yeah. And even Call of Duty, yeah, it's an arcade shooter, but I'll, you die so quick. Whereas in Overwatch 2, there's just so much variety. There's so many different ways to play the game, and it's just fun as well. Some of the characters are broken at times, and it's always been updated. And the fan base is super toxic, so it's always interesting to watch them when they get, when they lose <laughs> and they just start flaming. It's, it's always the healers, healers. And it turned out that a lot of the streamers will do crazy things like shave their head. And once they shave their head, they realized they had this headphone dent, and they thought, oh, it's okay, it's because I took my headphones off. Then they'll wake up the next day and it'll still be there. Don't quote me on this. Some guy did get x-rayed and his skull was actually dented. And you definitely, definitely want to pack a punch before going into zone two. You won't survive. Yeah. It's it, it doesn't do any damage. Even when it is pack a punch, it doesn't do much damage. And then level three. When I first got there, right, the panic. In low tier zone, it's a bit grey. Tier two is a bit orangey. Tier three is just red. Everything's red. It's bright red. <laughs> and it makes me panic. And I just entered it. And I just saw this. I saw this huge mega magua. I saw that thought. Nah, man, that was so much fun. James, what uh, what game gave you the most traction on 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 uh, TikTok? Oh, okay. Well, I started off just doing Apex Legends only, explicitly, uh, just that game only, um, which was so. Oh, it's it's a game, isn't it? It's a game. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, Apex Legends first of all just gave me loads of views. Even the smallest little leaks about a new grenade. Uh, just got millions of views and then I had to start to branch out because obviously Apex took that massive dip uh, in between I think it was like some of the season season five to just recently started to get back into popularity so Apex Legends definitely gets me the most views even now if I make one about that game just gets loads of views Fortnite doesn't seem to do it um, Modern Warfare recently yeah but Call of Duty back then uh, doesn't really get the views so I'd say Apex at the moment is is, is pretty solid even though Oh, you don't you don't play the game to have fun. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> did you uh, did did you play Apex originally? Yeah, yeah I played uh, before did, even did you seasons see were the a grenade, thing. The like the skull grenade that like seeks out. Man, that was so much fun. But the thing is, it stopped <laughs> right in front of you, so you could just shoot it. It made no sense. Oh yeah, okay. I I've never actually had it thrown 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 at me. So like, I threw it and I got like yeah. a hit on somebody, but I've never actually thrown it, or I've never had it thrown at me. So I I, I don't know. <laughs> I know, funny. it's great, it's great. You've got to get all your friends, get as many as you can into your inventory, lob them all at the same time. It's great to watch. You just, it's like fireworks in the sky. It's like, what's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just don't know. And you hear this screaming oh coming towards you as well. And then you're on fire as well. <laughs> um, Side question, actually, now I think about it. What does that shirt, that sweatshirt mean? Like, what's the emblem on there? Well, this is just Gymshark. Oh, is it? Oh, it's Gymshark. Yeah, that's cool. Oh no, yeah, isn't Jim Shark big? Jim Shark's big in in the UK, right? Yeah, I think the owners live here, don't they? I've yeah, got their names. Yeah, Jim Shark is massive here, but that means it's expensive. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I um, uh, I I saw um, the uh, what what's 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 the podcast called? Uh, Di Diarrhea of a CEO, and he yes, had yeah. Jim Shark on there. That was really good yeah those those guys are great um yeah he started he's, from nothing as well yeah he's like a bill he's like a multi-billionaire now isn't he or something oh yeah <laughs> easily easily yeah he's set <laughs> he can just chill he's fine that's awesome um if, if you had to pick one game to play for the rest of your life what would it be oh that's that's a big question um one game the, the big games that come to mind would be gta uh, Overwatch, you know, these kind of AAA massive games that have just... Well, how, how long has GTA been going for now? 10 years? GTA 5? 10, ten years, ages. yeah. I think a little over 10 years now. I'm, I like being competitive. I like winning. I don't know what it is. I just I just like knowing that I have beaten someone else. That's sitting out, is getting mad that I've beaten him in a video game. That, just, that brings me joy. I don't know why. It's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> but that just makes me happy. So I would say Overwatch 2. Yeah. Just because it runs well, it's so well optimized. I can get into a game within 10 seconds of loading it up. Mm. Whereas something like um, maybe Fortnite or Apex or any other Battle Royale, really. It, it's like a looting simulator for half the game. Yeah. Um, and even Call of Duty. Yeah, it's an arcade shooter, but I'll, you die so quick. Whereas in Overwatch 2, 
or just Overwatch, I guess, one point five. Um, there's um, there's just so much variety. There's so many different ways to play the game, and it's just fun as well. Some of the characters are broken at times, and it's always been updated. And the fan base is super toxic, so it's always interesting to watch them when they get when they lose and they just start flaming. It's it's always the healers' healers' fault. It's never your fault. It's always your team's fault. So why so why not why not Overwatch one, the first one? Um, honestly, I, if they brought it back, I'd pick that over Overwatch two, only because of five v five is not as good as six v six. Once someone dies in five v five, the the fight is over. It doesn't matter if it's one of the tanks, one of the it doesn't matter. The fight is lost in six v six. There's so much going on, um, and the the skill ceiling is so much higher because for me in six v six, I'm not always sure what's going on. But these pros, they know exactly what's going on. They know what abilities on cooldown. They know everyone else's ability cooldown. They know who's got the ult and everything. And I just think it offers more of a chance where even if you're down a teammate, you can still win a five v six, maybe even a four v six. But when when it comes to yeah a four v five, it, it, it's over. So it's just, it's just less fun. That's a good point. What's the what's the dynamic bet between that? Like, what, um, why do you think the extra player on on each team really makes the huge difference in in the gameplay? Uh, it's because of the ability aspect of Overwatch. It's not just shooting and constant damage. Everyone's got abilities, and they're always on cooldown. And adding one extra player, you're not just adding their damage. You're adding two or three. Some some have different abilities, but two or three different abilities plus their ultimate. You're adding so much more variety. Not to mention the other other team has also got an extra player, which is another two or three abilities, another mm. ultimate. Even just adding one extra player to each team adds a massive variety to the game and just makes it more interesting. It makes it more fun. Um, and I just think once I'm once I'm in that 5v5 and, we, and we, we kill one of the people or maybe my healer dies, I just know it's over and we have to run away. It feels like we're playing the game less. Even though we're in the, even though the game's still the same in terms of cooldowns and timing, everything, I feel like we just fight less. The, the fight is shorter. And, ah, it's just not as fun. It's not as fun. <laughs> it's just not. I'm, I'm a bit, a bit annoyed about it. <laughs> you don't know if you can tell. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you want to keep going, this is this is good stuff. You can keep going. <laughs> what yeah, else? Uh, what else do you think? <laughs> it, it just frustrates me because everyone's mm. asking for it back, and they got rid of um, two CP, which is um, I don't know if you've played Overwatch. No, There's I so you've got to capture, it's like a hard point in Call of Duty. You go on that first hard point and then you capture it and then the enemy spawn changes to further back and you capture the next point. Mm. The problem was with the game mode is their spawn is right next to the capture point. So mm. even if you completely team wipe them, they're right there again. And it was very frustrating game mode, but it was also really fun because you've got to keep killing them as they're coming in and they're changing yeah. heroes to get there faster. And it's just, oh, it's really good fun. And they just got rid of it. Um, and they recently announced they're bringing five CP. No one asked for five C. I don't know what five CP is. We just want we just want six v six. Bring two CP back. Uh, okay, rant over, rant over. Well, I mean, I guess we'll see. That's that's the dynamic that you seem to like versus like something like Call of Duty. Because like if you are playing on Call of Duty and you're playing like let's say uh, domination, you are spawning across the map from B. So they can always yeah. capture. Like if you team wipe or if you wipe two or three people, maybe four, like you're not getting back to that flag, right? So um, do you think that's a better dynamic in Overwatch or do you think the Call of Duty way is better? I think it's a completely different um, game, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's still capture the flags, even if it was Hardpoint, for example. You're still capturing the point in both games. Mm -hmm. But the, you've got... You haven't really got abilities in COD. Yeah, you've got grenades and stuff, but I wouldn't call them abilities. I guess in, in um, uh, Black Ops 3, you had the specialists, which you, yep. you did have abilities. Yep. But I think that the time to kill is so much faster. Yep. And it's not really a team game. Yeah, you're on teams, but you can do what you want. You can just run off and you'll you'll probably do all right. Because of that time to kill, you can take on a 1v3. In Overwatch, you're not winning a 1v3. Maybe not even a 1v2 because the, the health pool is obviously so different. The damage is so different. Every, the, the, it's just yeah. a variety. I think the variety is what I'm a, I'm into. I like that. I have a chance to think about what's going on. Whereas in Call of Duty, unless I am so much better than them, if I'm not looking at them and I get shot nine times out of ten, I am going to die before I can look at him and start shooting. That's yeah. That, that's actually great. A great point. So that's uh, that pretty much answered <laughs> all 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 the haters. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> um. 
if you had to pick a game uh, to experience for, for for the first time again, which which game would it be? You know what, Titanfall Two, because for for two reasons. One, the campaign. The campaign was amazing. I've played the campaign about three times. Especially, have you played the Titanfall Two campaign? I have not, but I've played Titanfall and Titanfall Two, but I haven't really gotten okay. crazy into it. But, okay, but, okay. but yeah. I won't spoil it, but there's a mission <laughs> where you're in some sort of time travel bit, right? Mm-hmm. And you have this watch on. I don't know who thought of this idea, but they need a raise because basically you'd press the button and as you press the button, you would change to a different point in time, but your character would stay where they are. So if you're running on a wall and say there's some fire in front of you, you can't get past, you're going to die press the button, suddenly you're back in time where the wall wasn't destroyed and it's still there as you carry on. And you switch it back and there's some enemies there. But then, okay, you don't want to fight the enemies, switch it back, the enemies are gone. And it was... The whole thing was like that. The whole campaign was just amazing. The enemies were so good, they brought them into Apex. Like, Ash, um, she's was originally a villain in Titanfall 2 and they brought her into Apex Legends. And then, the multiplayer, it's, it's the best, I'll stand to this, it's the best FPS game Ever. All right, it beats Overwatch, Call of Duty, everything. Because the time to kill, like we mentioned earlier, yeah, it's not as long as Overwatch, but it's nowhere near as fast as Call of Duty. Yeah. And because you are got this jetpack and you're war running, you're all over the place, it's so much harder to kill you. So oh, it was perfect. And they recently did bring it back and they fixed the whole uh, hacking issue. I don't know if you know about the DDoSing issue it had. I think I saw your video on that. Didn't you make a video on that? Okay, yeah, yeah. They, um, <clears throat> they basically, whoever they are, don't like them. No one likes them. <laughs> just are, are just DDoSing the servers for no reason. And they're targeting YouTubers and Twitch streamers specifically so they can't play the game at all. Like they're just looking at their username, obviously finding their, their, their information, just stopping them from playing the game. So they're getting blacklisted. Mm. And it made them not be able to play the game. So even people who couldn't play the game anyway can't watch their streamers play the game. So it just died. But for some reason, Respawn thought today's the day that we're going to fix it. And they kind of, kind of hinted to... Titanfall 3, but really I think they just did it so everyone played the game and, and buy the new skins and stuff. Um, yeah. But they fixed it, and it had a new new all-time peak player count of, I think it was like 25k, which for a 7-year-old game, something like that, is is insane. If they were to remaster it, it would, it would just break records. And the problem is Titanfall 3 won't be as good if they do release it, because all the devs um, have left Respawn that made Titanfall 2. It's not the same Respawn it was when it was Titanfall 2. Yeah. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. Well, I mean, maybe that well, it might be. It may not be a bad thing. It may be something. Oh no, no, where... no. I want it. Give me, give me Titanfall three. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just, I'm just saying, it's probably not going to be. We need to just relax our expectations and go look. Yeah, it's not yeah. going to be Titanfall two, but it's still Titanfall. Yeah. Well, the only, the only counter argument for, for, for that is if there's new people. Not all the time, obviously, but some. But sometimes they might actually bring a better idea forward that might actually yeah. do better than Titanfall too. So that's always something to, to keep in mind. I always like to keep an, op- an open mind. Call no, of Duty has, t- has taught me not to do that, but well, <laughs> <laughs> we're in hopes. We're in high hopes. All right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what was your most viral video about? Oh, okay. Uh, this <laughs> is the stupidest one ever. So. <laughs> Of all the videos I've made, all the effort I've put in, <laughs> it was a stupid video about um, these streamers having a dent in their head from wearing headphones. Oh yeah, <laughs> I cut out of, I, I put so much effort into scripts, into into finding footage and yep. getting the best gameplay, and yep. some some people with dents in their forehead gets gets views. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it was basically about how. Because streamers just spend so long, even if they're not gaming, they've got headphones on because they need to hear the the voice to the voice to sorry text to voice. They need to hear all the donation, everything like that, right? So yeah. they always got headphones on. And it turned out that a lot of the streamers will do crazy things like shave their head. And once they shaved their head, they realised they had this headphone dent, and they thought oh, it's okay. Everyone, it's because I took my headphones off. And then they'll wake up the next day, and it'll still be there. Um, and I think I, I might be wrong. I don't want to. Don't quote me on this, but I, when I was looking at it, I didn't put it in the video because I wasn't sure if it was legit or not. But some guy did get x-rayed and his skull was actually dented. But I don't know, man. They, they, they're pretty soft. I don't think they could dent your skull, even wearing them for years. But anyway, yeah, I just showed screenshots and videos of these streamers reacting to, oh my god, I've got a headphone dent. 
and that I think it got nearly ten million. Nice. That that that's nearly on TikTok. Million. That's on TikTok. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And that actually was a... said. Sorry. Go ahead. Go on. Well, saying that, I recently actually on Instagram, it something did overtake that, but it wasn't as interesting. It was just um the uh, a new game called The Finals. I think you've mm -hmm. heard of it. Yes, I, I have. Um, I think that's that's like a new battle battle royale, right, or something. It's its own genre, which <laughs> is a breath of fresh air. <laughs> it's a it's a three v three v three tournament style. So if you die, you're not out. You just have to wait for your whole team to respawn. You've got medium, light, and heavy classes. So it's it's unique and it's mm. interesting, and the movement is like apex, so it's nice and crisp. Yeah. Um. So that that was that video. That one got. 11 million i think it's on which i don't understand really because it made no sense it, it got <laughs> it only got 4 million on tiktok so i'm not sure why it got more on instagram and on, on youtube it only got like 2k it, it these yeah. algorithms make, yeah 11 yeah. million yeah these these algorithms i just i just wish someone would explain it to me just go this is why this happened i'll go okay no problem <laughs> yeah i i've been i've been uh really this channel was actually just like a it was pretty much just like a, a like like a test that's all it was. Yeah. And at first, and I was like, you know, what happens if I just do short videos and just keep going hard on short videos and doing yada, yada, yada. Well, 20,000 followers late later in like six months or whatever. Um, I was like, that's, that's working. Um, and I stuck to like just war zone vi videos for, for a while. Um, that was where kind of COVID happened. And I started to just like post cra crazy two you know, once yeah, yeah. to three times a day. Um, and uh yeah it really there's there's a couple of things that you really have to look forward to and and we which you have to look out for at least in my experience no matter what anyone tells you despite what anyone tells you you posting quality videos matters more now i know you don't think that some of those are quality vi videos and like trust me my most viral video probably took me a couple hours but like in reality it really wasn't that thought provoking but it got mm -hmm. the most views now there's exceptions to every rule which that's the exception right uh but quality videos are definitely going to outperform quantity videos all the time like mr beast does say it he's like you can get it's easier to get a million views on one video versus a yeah. hundred thousand views on 10 and it's true yeah. um i'm seeing that more now to be honest uh but yeah, for you, TikTok definitely wants you to post, just post blind, blindly. Like that's what they want yeah. you to do. If you're posting three times a day, they'll most likely give you the attention. Uh, but they also have to be not complete shit videos. <laughs> yeah, there's a fine line, isn't there? <laughs> yeah, and SEO does matter. Um, on this channel, my I think still my second most viewed traffic source is, is YouTube SEO, and I've been able to do yeah. that on all my channels. Like I, I don't know how, but I'm amazing at, at YouTube SEO and I'm not trying to brag. It's just like, that's my second. That's just my, a fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> my first is shorts. My first is shorts. Okay. That's my first. Second is, is YouTube search. I don't ask me how, I don't know, but I like, I use vidIQ. I've studied a lot and TikTok is a whole nother. They're, they're just, they're all the yeah. same in the sense that you have to just post videos that matter yeah. to you. And eventually yeah. you'll get, you'll, you'll get, you'll get there. Um, but you've got a good style, so you're definitely on your way to a million easily. You just have to keep oh, doing you, what man. you're doing. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you say that, yeah, but I've, sometimes some of the videos I think should do well don't, and I can't figure out why, and I'll look at other people that have made super weirdly similar, like, you know what I mean, weirdly similar, and just have very good videos, or vice versa. I'll make something that's, eh, but it gets loads of views. Someone else makes something very similar, gets nothing, and I'm like... There's no rhyme or reason. There's no answer, which yep. really makes you just think, okay, forget it. Relax. What do I want to make? Exactly. What will get views? Do a little combination of both. Make the video. The overthinking it. Just good hook, good visuals, end of story. I don't know yeah. why I'm... But then again, I'll get sucked back in when he gets the views and I'll go, maybe it was this word here. I'm like, look, that's too much. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> just improve just... on something every, every time. That's that's what I learned too. So if you're doing if you're doing something different, like you have to innovate. You can't just keep doing yeah. the same videos over and over nah, again because no. then people will stop watching. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I mean, even if it's changing games, which I, which you do, which well, we'll we'll get into more of it. But um, 
<laughs> yeah, man, it's 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 a, it's a nightmare. It's no one will ever understand it. I don't think TikTok themselves. If no. you ask them, they'll go, "Look, we got no idea. It does what it does." It just it just it's a, it's AI. It just figures it out by itself. It actually yeah. creates its own code too. We we haven't touched that thing in two years. Is it? <laughs> I thought I thought you been I thought you weren't joking there. I thought she'd actually, actually start doing that. <laughs> uh, honestly, I think that's the case. Like I even for for a while, especially for YouTube Shorts, I I honestly don't think YouTube even knows how how it works. It's like they're yeah. um they'll have like the summits and whatever, and like they'll do they'll tell you like tips and tricks on how to do the algorithm, and I'm like that. It's not true. I, I did it the other day and it doesn't work. Or this car- this yeah. this content creator did it and he excelled or what? Like anyone that tells you like, oh yeah, you have to post consistently, really isn't. They they they're they're just doing it for them. Like they're like yeah. consistency is really just for you. Like there's yeah. Russian Badger. I don't know if you've ever heard heard of him. He's on YouTube. He's got like two or three million, maybe four million followers now. I remember following okay. him at like 50k like he grew so yeah. fast but he he like really he when he first started he posted consistently but then he started just like posting high quality videos every like month and that was it like yeah. or even like sometimes he wouldn't post for months and then like he would come out his video would come out and he would get like 400,000 views in like the first hour or more and it would just go from there so wow. there's that's why I said there's exceptions to every rule but as long as you're making stuff that you know, you care about the person yeah. that's watching is going to connect to you versus connecting to your video. That's true. I think it is the way you say it as well. I have noticed that I've, sometimes I'll make a video that I don't like about a game that I'm like, oh, okay, I like the game, but I don't really play that often. And you can just tell in the way I'm saying it. It's so subtle. It's definitely subconsciously. Yeah. Whereas in a game that I've just, I've just made a video, actually, I haven't edited it yet, but it's about, um, uh, the, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I had to basically get a bunch of XP in, in the zombies mode. And because I played the game and I'm like, this is really cool. You can just tell in my voice I'm way more excited. You need to do this. This is cool. Do this now. Yeah. This is how you do it. It just sounds more, okay, cool. Let's, I'm interested. I'm interested. Yeah. So yeah, definitely, definitely right with that. I think if I make stuff I want to I wanna make, the views will come later. But yeah. it's just, oh, it's just frustrating. Frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, if you don't, if, if you don't want to make something, sometimes just make it any, anyway, because that might, that also gives you, again, that's more of the consistency talk where you yeah. just do it because not that you have to, but it's just like, let's see how, let's see where this goes. Maybe this is yeah. something where I, this is the path that I could take versus, ah, screw it. I don't want to do this. This is stupid. Cause then that's kind of yeah. like a downgrading ma- mind mindset for like, yeah, better. definitely. definitely. Yeah. I don't think you'll ever regret posting. I mean, I say that, but I do sometimes <laughs> think I've just spent four hours on this and then posted it. I've gone like sometimes I'll stay up till 2 a.m. just to get the video done in like enough time. Like the GTA 6, I don't know if you saw Rockstar tweeted saying, look, we're going to release the trailer. Yeah. And everyone was like, whoa. That. And I, I did it within about like an hour. I was on it so fast. I thought this video was sick. I've used great footage. And it got something like a thousand on TikTok. And I thought, what what have I done wrong? It's it's current. It's I, I've done it rapid. It's good. What's what, what, what am I doing wrong here? And I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Like, I still don't know. <laughs> Actually, I almost lost my, my channel because of GTA 6. Really? Yeah. Did you did you post the leak stuff? I did. I posted one. Oh, See, no. here's, the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I actually, it actually made me want to stop posting con- content because it's like, it, it was so, it happened so, so, so fast. So I posted, I posted the, the pre-alpha gameplay that leaked, whatever. So, yeah. They like their lawyers flagged it and YouTube took it down immediately and gave me a strike. I was gonna make Jeez. three videos with that. <laughs> my okay. channel would have disappeared. My channel would have yeah. disappeared. Yeah. So I'm at like I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna make a video about this. I, I haven't yet. It's I have it all recorded, I just haven't edited it yet. But um Okay. I thought about it and and I and I said, you know, imagine if I had made three videos, like I would my channel would yeah. be gone and all the associated channels with that channel would have probably been gone too. And I would have been able to do nothing about it because, I mean, technically I am in the wrong there, right? So, but it's like to delete a channel over that is kind of insane. You know what I mean? Like they could have at least have talked to me and said, hey, take it down. Like I'm, I'm obviously in the wrong. I'm going to take it down. You don't have to give me a strike. Like it's just something to get views and get, you know, and get eyes on my channel. Mm -hmm. Um, But if they want to take it, take it down, I'm not going to be a dick. Like it's legally, I don't own that, that content. I, I, I I get that. (laughs) I think, I think the, I think they were trying to deter other people from posting that content yeah they were trying to get it just completely off the internet yeah but that's so impossible to do if anything i I get they don't want people to see that gameplay but 
there was so much code on the screen. It was so pixelated. I yeah. think if anything, it's just good. There's no such thing as bad PR, right? I yeah. think it would have just drove more hype. They should have probably left it. But it's the way the footage was acquired. I don't know if you know how it actually got out in the end. No, I don't. I don't know how, oh, how it got um, out. Some kid uh, in London just hacked Rockstar and just took oh, it. Oh, right, he's, yeah. He's like 17. He, he, somehow he just got it. And he was like, look, I've got more. If you don't give me X amount of money, I'm just going to release more. And then about 10 minutes later, apparently a SWAT team came. <laughs> and I'm like, look, you can't do that. <laughs> so, I remember uh, seeing a content creator make a video about that. I, f- I forgot his name. Um, yeah, it's, but he's like mental. a skit about it. <laughs> so that's just that, unfortunately. That's why, because technically it was stolen property. So it's... Yeah, it it's is. all a bit. It's all a bit. Uh, so if it was leaked by a different, like not a, not a hacked method, if someone put it on there by accidental, that's fine because that's that's their fault. But because yeah. it was taken illegally, then yeah. yeah. But that's going to be a great title for you. GTA Six nearly deleted my channel, or this yeah. is how GTA Six. Did. Oh, that'll be a great title, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's what I was th- thinking. But you know, I also wanted to go through like the nuances of it. It's like you know, I almost lost my channel because of yeah. Like I could have, that could have happened overnight. Three strikes and you're out. <laughs> that scares me sometimes as well. When you think about this is your, this is you. You know, this is everything you've got. Yeah. If my TikTok got taken, I'm like, oh, okay, back on, back on looking for jobs now. Then I've got no money. No, no. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> the, see, that's the that's that's the other thing that I, that I think a lot of people fear. Um, I'm not afraid to lose this stuff because I, I I have the experience. And that's that's what I, yeah. that's what people can't take take away from you. Yeah, you may have to get a job in the, in the interim to pay for some stuff, but like at the yeah. end of the day, I I still work. I don't do this full okay. time. Um, yeah, and um, I know that if I lost if I lost my channel, like I from the three strikes, I would have been fine. Like I'd have been like whatever, and I just would have started a new channel and just yeah. did better each time. You know what I mean? I'm I not I'm not afraid to start like zero. Good, I think you would have been just. It would have been that like a three day period of oh this just sucks. Yeah, it sucks. And then once you got once you go over that, you'd be like okay, grind now, let's get back on it. Grind that, yeah, and yeah. It, it, I would have just started like a whole new podcast. I would have gotten on all the cool guests, and it would have been yeah. it would have been a bad. Like you said, it's like you said the experience you've taken. Yeah, the, yeah, the channel is gone, the videos are gone, but you've learned so much stuff editing wise. All the visuals, all the audio, everything you've learned of what works and what doesn't, you're taking into a new channel. So this channel that you started. Uh, what's the other one called? You said massive. Ma- the, the first one you had, basically. Uh, it was it was it was Mafia's finest. That one. So you may have started getting like one view here, ten views there. But when you made your new one after this got taken down because of GTA, you'd start on way more because of because of all that experience, all that knowledge. You know, it's invaluable. Yeah, I actually still have the original Mafia's finest channel up. I, if you want to see it, I'll, I'll send you a link to it after this. No, one. please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. It's definitely. So you, gotta, bad. you gotta keep it's, it. You gotta keep. No, so you gotta bad. keep it. Oh man. <laughs> I've got a few old ones as well. I'll send you some old ones as well. That they're all there bad. My most viral <laughs> video on on that channel, I think, was like about Black Ops Three Zombies, um, the worms. Like before anyone really knew about it, like what oh, yeah. what what, the, what they did, and then um, all of a sudden, you to, it was for the Easter eggs, and like mm. I think I I think on the bottom right of like each map, they had they had each they had a worm, and like nobody really knew what it was but I, I was like putting the dots together i was like oh this is yeah. probably what this means like it probably is like doing the easter eggs on each one of the maps and they're probably going to mean something which i think at the end i think in um Re- revelations the worms did mean something i just don't remember it's been still oh, okay time. but at yeah. the time revelations wasn't out it was like only like the first three or four maps or whatever so i was like this definitely means some, something and then i just like put a bunch of hunches in there um yeah that got like 250 views or something but <laughs> I, I always wonder how people how people like that get um get that knowledge but i guess it is literally just from oh i've noticed something and then you just go with that dude if you want to talk about i i just posted a video you probably didn't see it but on tiktok i was i like okay. reacted to somebody finding out the glitch you know the sentry gun glitch with the monkey bomb where you can just like yes yeah, the zombies? Yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah how do you accidentally figure out that like eight step oh, process yeah. like <laughs> Well, I think there's so many people playing the game. The odds of someone throwing a monkey near a sentry turret and it getting stuck. I think that's that's not one of the most unlikely things to happen. But the ones where they actually figure out zombie Easter eggs in like yeah. Black Ops 2. How do you know? To, to... No way. So, somebody from say, inside is definitely good. Yeah. There's no way. There's there's one Easter egg. Um, I think it was Grod Crovey. I forgot what step it was. But it was like, how did you find this? Like in World yeah. War II zombies... 
in um the the world, Call of Duty World War Two, they had like objective markers where you can like find and do the stuff. Oh, okay. But like yeah. in in like the first three zombie maps, four zombie maps, like how do you yeah. find those Easter eggs? No, it definitely like, someone telling. There's definitely like a yeah. little, well, mate, just have a little look over there. Yeah, like <laughs> China. he's like I'm he's like I'm stuck on this part, and the the guy's like, all right, take a take a look over there in the corner. But it's like yeah, there's yeah. like stuff that's outside the map that you have to shoot or like exactly. You know, like, there's no like, chance. How do you find that? Nah, no chance. And the fact with an upgraded weapon or something, it's like specific details. You're like, there's no Uh, way, dude. Nah, nah, definitely told. (laughs) They're definitely told, hundred percent. Um, all right, now enough shitting on other content creators. (laughs) At least for right now. (laughs) Do you enjoy uh, the new style tick tick TikToks the they that you've been making? Um, visually, yeah, but not as they're not as fun to make as they used to be. I feel like when back when I was kind of um, uh, had a job, and also I do, I do um, I'm a cage fighter. I do fighting as well, so I train a lot. So these you, two you, things. You look like it. You you look like a fighter. You think honest. so? Yeah, <laughs> no one's ever said that. <laughs> I, 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 I it was something about. Uh, see, that's the problem. That's to go off topic. This that's my superpower. Yeah. Like I can read okay. people pretty well, but sometimes I can't put my finger on it. But that actually that that makes sense. Big hands. That's really you got like a good stature. Yeah, you're definitely a fighter. That's interesting. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the first time to say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it requires so much training, and the full time job was obviously full time. So in the brief hour to two hours I get in the week when I was working yeah. to make a video, it was always just get it done, get it done, get it done. I wasn't really thinking too much about the the hook or the script in general. I was writing the script in Notepad and then deleting it once I recorded. I was just getting it done. And it was still getting views, and obviously back then it wasn't as competitive. But still, yeah. I looked back at some of those that are getting hundreds of thousands of views and sometimes millions, and I'm thinking, I wouldn't watch this video. I, if I'm scrolling, I see that video, I'm not watching that. Um, and then these days, I'm thinking, every time I scroll on my videos, I go, oh, that was a good hook, that was a good hook. Why has it got no views? And it yeah. it makes no sense. So I definitely I prefer the way I've done the captions, I prefer the way I show the visuals, my transitions, the way I speak is so much better. Oh, if you go back to the old videos, the way I speak is so like, just like static like this and oh, Apex, Apex did this and it's yeah. like, oh, but now it's way more animative and maybe that is the problem. Maybe it's gone too high quality and then it's everyone's thinking, oh, it's just whatever, scroll. Whereas I need to find that middle ground of not completely trash where it was, but not <laughs> super clean. I need some like, you know how Mr. Beast does his, does his thumbnails? When he photoshops PNGs, he leaves them a little, like, scuff on purpose, to, just so it looks it looks like someone you know can make it, the average person made it. Maybe I need to do a bit of that. Stop animating the uh, the captions, maybe just a little, little slower pace. Well, keep the, thing as keep well. the captions in one, in one place. I, I, I learned that the hard way. Don't, don't move them. Yeah. Keep them in one place. Uh, add some kind of contrast, so make one or two words um, a different color. It yeah. doesn't matter. Red, green, blue, turquoise. It doesn't matter. Turquoise and blue are kind of the same. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely try try that. Um, I've noticed. And don't worry about animating or, or translating every single word. Do you do it by, by hand or do you, are you, are you using AI, AI well, to do it? I, I used to do it by hand but because I got so fast at doing it. It only took about like five minutes. Because I just used to, I had one that was animated and one that wasn't, and I just emphasized animated words that were a different color. Mm. I just literally go through the timeline, do it, type it all, and it's done in about five six minutes. But now I use uh, Premiere Pro because I I use DaVinci Resolve, but their AI captions are not very good. Yeah. So I rendered the video, stick it into Premiere, and just auto captions. Yeah. Um, but on, I think it takes about the same time really. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, Def- definitely variety. Um. A, a, a lot of the I, I I told average too. Um, he's he's trying to do uh, um subtitles and he doesn't really know how to do it by hand. I usually do mine by hand. Uh, yeah. Stu- stupid me. It's probably I probably should just be using AI, but I also don't want to pay for it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair as well. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, no, yeah, definitely make it anywhere from one to three lines, and then add some kind of contrast to it. That usually keeps people's yeah. attention pre- pretty well. So I that's I would interesting. Like that. the- it's interesting that you want them in the same place because even past videos that have done really well, I always move them. I used to move them too. I used to animate them with like the clips some, some, sometimes because I used to want to keep it below the the top clip a certain amount. So like you're, you know, you, you have your, your yourself, your your camera, 
your background game gameplay and then the subtitles. I used yeah. to want to keep it a certain distance away, so I used to animate it too. Animate like the colors have different colors throughout the thing, but I realized I just I was complicating it too too much, and this, yeah, the simplicity yeah. of them usually gets. But I mean, hey, if it works for you, again, exception to every rule. I mean, at least that's what well, I noticed on my channel. But again, they probably send me pe- people that have attention span of squirrels. So, yeah, this is oh, this is the thing. I don't think you'll ever get an answer. I think some people can make these stupidest captions with about seventy four lines. It'll blow up. Other people can make it one word at a time, super animated. Every everything's animated and get views there's obviously there's there's specific rules like you said that probably matter more than others yeah but there's overall, no one path really no there's no one path yeah, yeah i think the only things that really matter are the the hooks what's on screen and the way you say it i think yeah. other than that everything else is pretty fair game yeah they should definitely be able to connect to you that's another thing that you should add to that list <laughs> connect to what do you, you mean by that connect to you like connect to the person that's behind the camera that's the most important thing what do you mean? Explain what you mean. So, so essentially, kind of like what we talked about before, where you want somebody to care about what you're saying, not the topic of the video that you're that you're talking about. So mm. they they want to you want them to connect to what James is saying and agree with you or disagree with you, so that they either respect you, they hate you, or they or they, or, or they love you. So it's more of it's more of you want the audience to be focused on you, especially since your your name is in the title of of the of the channel. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's, that's the other important thing too. So. Uh, that's also why brands have hard times um, connecting to to an audience because there's nothing to connect to. It's just like a brand and and, 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 a, and a logo, and nobody cares about that. That's why a lot of companies are struggling on social media right now. It's interesting. Okay, I, I actually might have solved my problem here. Are you basically? I used to add a lot of jokes in the in the scripts every so often on the old videos. I used to say something. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah, add, add it, I'll, add I'll it put them back in. Yep. I'll put them back in. <laughs> you know what? If I start doing this right, and in a month I'll come back to you and go, look, I owe you a lot because you saw my problems. The views are back up because that is my style. I, I need to stop trying to mimic the other just pure yeah. news or just this. Yeah. I need to go back to here's what happened. Here's a stupid joke. Here's what else happened yeah. instead of just going. This has happened. This happened. This happened. This yep. happened. As long as the yeah, joke yeah, is genuinely point. you, then yes. Yep. Because I mean, okay, I used yeah. to do that all, 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 all the time. I also copied a lot. Not copied, but I would see a style, and I'm like, oh, I want to, I want to use that for yeah. myself, and then I would make it my, my, my own. But after a while, I, I felt like I was copying too much, so I just started doing my own stuff. Like, sure. just do you, dude. Don't, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about everyone else. Just do you. Trust that me. That make it fun again as well, because I can start thinking about because all the comments as well were always about the joke. The, the obviously the topic is important, but then they'd always go. Or what is this guy on about? Or I yeah, that's actually a really good point. Or that was really funny when he did this, and I'm like, because always, I always used to make stupid like your mom stuff. It was, it was always, <laughs> it had no relation to the video. It was just something about oh, the new map is absolutely massive, almost as big as your mother. And then I moved on, and everyone always commented, my mom, my mom. <laughs> I need to start putting it back in. Just and yeah, yeah. need to put it back in. But that's that's the sprinkle of James in, in each yeah. one of the videos. I'm writing so that down. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down. That's actually a really good idea. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't put that. I can't believe I haven't thought about putting the, the jokes back in. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. I appreciate no it. Yeah, no. I mean, that's what I'm here for. So, I mean, I always tell everyone that I, that I interview, if you have questions, like, I've been doing this for a while. So, like, I've, again, picked up my own techniques. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you need me to help you edit anything, just let me know. Yeah. Um, that's great, man. I've, I've, yeah. I've been helping out Average and, like, just, like, giving him feedback on his videos. I've edited a couple stuff for him. You know, yeah. it's just... It's just something that I'm decent at. Like I'm not amazing. I'm definitely not the best ed- the best editor out there. I'm better than somebody on Fiverr, def- definitely. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm yeah. not the best. <laughs> at least not 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 yet. That's that takes at least ten thousand hours of of. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I I did want to take a course on it, but it's gonna uh, that'll be for for a different day. Um, sure. Again, back to the main topic. If you want to talk yeah. about this again, just let me know. Um, sure, sure. So, 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 are we playing? Or so, are you playing uh, the new Modern Mo- Mo- Warfare Three like like a lot? Is that your main focus oh, now? So too much is the is the answer to that one. But uh, to to get footage specifically of what I need, the amount of games I've had to play just to get it. For example, there's a class set of videos I was making for Total Beach, and I was like, right, okay, I need footage of the Bass B, but. I need certain attachments, so I need to level it up first. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm just playing to get leveled up. Like, yeah. great. Now I'll play to uh, get the footage. Oh, actually, I need a cool camo. Let me play to get the camo. And I haven't even got any footage yet, and I've played for about three hours. Um, <laughs> so it's just, it's just stuff like that I've just been playing. Yet. And zombies as well. I could not get to level three for the. I needed, I needed to get the level three pack a punch on this specific weapon because I was cutting. 
the pack a punch levels. Like you know when you inspect the weapon, there's that like animation. I was cutting the levels together, and because I had specific attachments on it already, I knew that I had to do it myself. So I just couldn't get enough time or enough points to get there and pack a punch it. So that took me about three days, and then I eventually went to a Discord. Was like, hi, I'm a YouTuber. Can, can anyone just please help me get to level three? I just need a three second clip of this pack a punch. Are they any worries? We'll do it. We'll do it. And done in that in about forty minutes. So a lot nice. is the answer. A lot. <laughs> Um, when you're pack a punching in the different zones, this is not on my question list either. This this is separate. So, okay, because I have questions about Modern Warfare Three Zombies because I haven't sure. played it yet, but I've been watching a lot of videos, but I haven't really gotten any, anyone to actually specifically answer some of my questions. But, um, if you're playing in the tier three zone, tier two zone, tier one zone, do do you have to pack a punch in each one, or can you pack a punch your tier one to tier three in 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 yeah. tier one zone? So yeah, you can't skip. Uh, as far as far as I know, you have to do each one as it comes. Okay. Um, and you definitely, definitely want to pack a punch before going into zone two. You won't survive. Yeah. It's it, it doesn't do any damage. Even when it is pack a punch, it doesn't do much damage. Yeah. Um, and then level three. When I first got there, right, the panic because everything go in low tier zone. It's a bit grey. Yeah. Um, tier two is a bit orangey. Yeah. Tier three is just red. Everything's red. It's bright red, <laughs> and it makes me panic. And I just entered it, and I just saw this. I saw this huge. I think it's called the the Mega Magua. Yeah, Magua. that's so, triple head mutation. Yeah, Magua. I, I saw that. Thought, nah. And then look, looked over there. See about three of the uh, like you know the normal bosses like the um Mangler. Cycle, Mangler. Yeah. I just saw a bunch of them. I'm thinking. What's going on here? And then I, I saw I'm, I'm now shooting some level three zombies with my level two pack a punch gun. They're not dying, and I'm shooting them in the head, and they're not dying. And I'm starting to panic. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm like to my friends who are, I've just said on the Discord because I need to get the footage. I'm like boys, I don't know if we can do this. I just, I just need the footage. Can we just run straight there? I'm like we don't have enough points here. Just relax. Everything's fine. Just, I'm like nothing's fine. Everything's bright red on my screen. And uh, Thankfully we did it, but yeah, it's crazy. You definitely need to pack a punch each one before going in the zones. Even when I pack a punch to level three, it wasn't killing these zombies. It, it's uh, it's stressful. Well, it's you fast. can upgrade the rarity too, can't you? So you may, yeah, you may yeah. have had to upgrade the rare, the rarity of, of the gun, or, or was it legendary? Well, that, well, that's what I thought until I did get the the legendary uh, ether that you can apply to the weapon. Yeah, I thought great level three pack a punch legendary weapon. Fine, they'll die instantly. No, they won't. <laughs> they won't. So it's just, oh, it was stressful. I, I went down twice, I think, thankfully, because they were so good teammates. But they were so calm. And the, the one teammate was all on his own, racking up loads of points. And I kept saying, are you okay? I haven't spoke for ages. He's like, yeah, I'm just, just, I'm good. I'm just, just concentrating. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm never, I haven't been back since. I haven't actually loaded up zombies since. It, was, it, it scarred <laughs> me. <laughs> it was too much. Yeah, you 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 were playing with le le with legitimate like zombie players. Oh. Like yeah, that's, uh, thankfully. That's, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much my mojo. Like, I I love zombies. I'm like always the one that I mean, I've gotten to round a hundred pretty easily in Black Ops Three. Like, yeah, I was ranked under probably like a thousand or five hundred in in the world for for zombies in Black Ops Three. So, You're a veteran. <laughs> oh yeah, I I'm like I like never panic. <laughs> my friends like yesterday, me and my friend played. He went down twenty no forty seven times, and I went down eight. And the entire right. time, <laughs> I was reviving him or whatever, and like, cause, cause in in Cold War you could like purchase, you know, you can like purchase uh quick revives and or um yeah self yeah revives and self revives so that's easy yeah. that's like the easiest zombies out there. <laughs> so I was just yeah, like not even panicking at all. <laughs> to be fair, Cold Cold War sound effects on zombies, oh, they were very satisfying. Yeah, they're very satisfying. But the rest of the game, yeah, it was it was all right. It was all right. <laughs> yeah, it no, could be better. I think. Black Ops 3 definitely was peak zombies. Yeah. Maybe Black Ops 2 as well, but Black Ops 3, yeah, just nailed it. Yeah. Just nailed it. Yeah, that was like a perfect, that was a perfect zombies, but yeah, too bad yeah. we'll never get that. Well, actually, no, we, we might get it again because they're going to make Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 1, they're going to make Black Ops 2 and then Black Ops 3. At least that's the trend we're following right right now. My, well, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1, Black Ops yeah. 2. <laughs> well, they just, they just tweeted, um, I don't know if you just initially, I've just made, I just recorded the video on it. They've, um, I've still got the tabs open. So basically, the for COD 2024, it's going to be called uh, Black Ops 6. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so I'm thinking, I don't know why they've done that, but that's a great hook. So I used that in the hook going, no, I didn't say Black Ops 5. 
Um, oh, Gobble gums yeah. are going to come back. Um, okay. Xfil is going to be a thing, um, okay. but it will be. It'll still be round based. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> the whole armor crafting is coming back, and there's currently two new maps. One is a big city with a ch- like transit. It's a bit like transit, and the other one is I forgot what it's called on Black Ops Two. But you know that ship with the with the old guy that chases you around. It's like a lighthouse is on it as well. Yeah, the George. Um, yes. Call Call of the well, Dead. Call of the Dead. So it's a bit like that, but it's in the middle of the ocean with a ghost ship, and there's going to be like an under elevator secret area. Obviously, it's all leaks, so it's not, nothing concrete. But that's basically yeah. what it's going to be, um, and something called a Dark ether field emitter. Don't know what that is, but it sounds like an upgrade of some sort. So, ho- ho- hopefully, it's cool. Yeah, but anyway, Black Ops Six is apparently going to be the next. <laughs> I, 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 sure, why not? You know, why not? <laughs> oh my god. Um, are are, you, are your shirtless videos the ones that perform the best? Because from what I've seen, at least recently, they perform the best. I I, I scrolled a little, I scrolled a little farther and like okay. you you abused the power a little bit, so yes. they didn't get that many. So, but then like now it's like you know everyone's like, oh, he's shirtless. Let's take a look. Yeah. Now. So, <laughs> are those your so, best videos? <laughs> um, it, man, there's a long story. There's a long story. I'll contain it. Long story short, it was I was. In my head, for some reason, there's nothing wrong with filming without a shirt on. It just, it's normal. It makes no sense to. Well, if I'm hot, I'll just record without a shirt. Nothing, didn't even cross the. Didn't even cross my mind. I just thought I'm hot. I'll record without a shirt. Didn't think twice. Um, and all the comments are like, "Where's bro's shirt? <laughs> bro mm. hasn't got any clothes." And then I changed my angle to show um, the three monitors in the background. And I still had no shirt on. And it was like bro's spent all his money on a set. I've got no clothes. Um, and it turned into this thing of when I joined, um, I remember this server with a bunch of other creators and they all knew me as the apex guy with no shirt. So it clearly caught on. Uh, so I thought, well, if this is getting more comments, then surely if I just not wear a shirt in any video and then yeah, it backfired a bit. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you abuse the power. Yeah. yeah that's what, so I've gone back to a bit of both now. So sometimes they'll go, oh, he's wearing a shirt now. He's bought some clothes. And then other videos, no, no, he's still not wearing a shirt. Um, but do they perform better? Yes, but I don't think it's because the video itself, it, it, it's not to do with the topic. It's just because of the comments, it just generates comments. Yeah. Um, so that plus with the jokes I'm going to start doing again. Thank you for that. Uh, I think we'll definitely be like, well, who is this guy? <laughs> he's just—he's telling me my mom's my mom's fat, and he's not wearing a shirt, and he's talking about Call of Duty. So they start commenting, and they tell their friends like, "Who is this guy?" And the, hopefully, gets views that way. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, um, <laughs> what's your uh, what's your ultimate goal with uh, with content creation? Um, you know what? It's a good question, and it's always changing. But I think there's a broad goal, and there's loads of other goals. The broad goal. Just as many followers and um, engagement as just humanly possible, so I can just do what I want when when I want. I like talking. I like making the videos. I like talking about games. So I'd still do it, but I also don't want to have to do it every day. I want to actually play the games because at the moment, unless I'm getting food, I'm not playing the games because I think as as I'm playing the game, like I could just make a script now, or I could edit a bit of a video. And every time I've played a game with my friend, even just two games for like half an hour, I think. Half an hour, I definitely could have wrote a script in that time. Definitely could have edited a good amount of video in half an hour. And I just feel a bit guilty. So the ultimate goal really is to have enough followers, to have enough money coming in that I can just do what I want when I want. You know what I mean? I can make videos wherever I want. I can train more. Because um, at the moment, when I quit my job, I now train two or three times a day. So to fit the videos in, it's very... It's fine. It's doable. Cause thanks for the don't have the job. But it's still... It's not enough, you know. It's, well, it's never enough. I could, you could argue yeah. even if I didn't train, and I, I hear it all day, I'd be like, could have done more. So, <laughs> but I think that's, I think that's the mentality. I'd rather have the mentality of I've done all this. I've, done, I've made three videos today. I've made a script, and I go to bed and I go, I could have done more. Rather than I made a video, it was okay. That'll do it. Why am I not getting views? I'd rather have the first mentality than the the one. The yeah. Other one. Definitely. You, so, so this is your full time gig, technically, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Just only just. <laughs> do you do you, do you feel stuck at all, or do you or, or do you think? You're um, just... <laughs> what do you, you mean by like stuck in? Do you feel like the, you're in... stuck with content creation now, or do you are you are you still oh, no, actually no. enjoying it? Yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. Good. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying it, and then 
after a, a bit of a dry spell, I go, this is very frustrating, but I don't, I don't ever think, okay, time to switch it up, time to do something else in my life. I like this. I like games. Um, I have actually made another channel uh, about half a year ago that's more commentary style because they just get so many views. Yeah. Um, and that way I have another excuse to play a game. I can play a game and go, look, I'm recording footage for this commentary style thing. So, um, so I'm just trying to make as much content. I don't know what it is about numbers. I just I like numbers going up. It's super satisfying to me. So I guess when it doesn't get views, it kind of annoys me. As Yeah, I guess I am doing it for views. That sounds so bad. But yeah, I am doing it for views. But I also like gaming, so it's a two and one. And if the number's not going up, I'm a bit like, okay, but I like the game, so that's all right then. So yeah, something about numbers. I, I like seeing the, the numbers go up. If I'm watching on a screen and the analytics going up, I'm like, oh, that's cool. I just like seeing the numbers go up. Something satisfying. About it. I don't know if that makes sense. Sounds a bit yeah. weird. No, yeah, it makes sense. Um, I mean, as long as you, as long as it's not your main focus, I think you'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I de it's definitely, it's definitely an important focus. But I'd say yeah. the main focus now, especially after since talking to you, is I want to make that video. So I'm gonna make that video. I'm yeah. gonna make it how I want to make it. I still think I shouldn't go the other way and go. Who cares about the hook? Write what I want to write. Yeah, yeah that's no, too far. No. That's too far. Yeah. I still need to think. Okay, what's gonna make the viewer watch this? <clears throat> still improve the script. But if I if I put something in there where I'm like. That doesn't need to be in there, but it's funny. I'll, <laughs> from now, I'll, I'll probably leave it in there rather yeah. than going, don't need to be there. Um, yeah. So I think, yeah, I, th I still think focus on the hooks still. Still make it a good hook. Make people want to watch the video, but maybe not. That, maybe don't rewrite it a million times, right? Yeah. Rewrite it a couple of times. If it's good. Sometimes good enough is good enough. I know that's... Oh, I hate that mentality sometimes as well, saying, oh, it's good enough. Yeah. I hate that mentality, but I'm, I'm, I don't want to sit here for another hour to improve two lines. Not really. And I don't think it's going to benefit me anyway. So, yeah, if that makes sense, that's a lot of that's a lot to take in. That was, but yeah. does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, nothing is going to be perfect. Um, I've exactly, learned this yeah. the hard way. So, you know, at the end of the day, as long as you put your best pro product forward, I wouldn't worry too much about it. If it gets views, if it doesn't give 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 views, try to learn from what happened. Don't try to yeah. focus on the negative of why did this happen. You know what I mean? Like, well, no, sorry. Um, why did this happen to me? That's that's the mentality that yeah. a lot of YouTubers have where it's like, it's not happening to you. It's just happening. No. You just have to figure out why it's happening. <laughs> Definitely. That, that's the frustrating process though, but I, I kind of like that it's hard. I like that it's frustrating because every time, <clears throat> every day someone's quitting, every day someone's not doing it and that's less competition. So. Yeah, yeah, Definitely. exactly. It's not a, problem, not a problem to me that it's hard. It's good that it's hard. <laughs> Um, if you had all the money back from all the games you, you ever bought, consoles, map packs, skins, how, how much would you have? Oh my god, that's, that's, that, that's going to be an outrageous number, isn't it? You know what, it's, it's probably not as big as um, other people's, but... if Have you heard of Advanced Warfare? Yes. Okay, the game that ruined supply drops, microtransactions in Call of Duty, right? That's the game. Yeah, that's the um, game. Well, I was about... When did, it, when did it release? I was going to say 14 maybe. I was 15, somewhere Tw around there. Yeah, 2014, I believe, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I decided <laughs> that all my money that I got from Christmas and my birthday, I thought, you know what I need? I need that new ASM-1 and that Battle 27, Obsidian Steed, I think it was, and the Speakeasy. I remember them all, man. So, <laughs> I thought, I need those. So, I spent... Oh, I think it's a bit ill. Um... And back then, when I'm when you're, you're when you're like 15, 16, this is a lot of money, right? Yeah. It was about two hundred or three hundred pounds on essentially gambling, is what it was. <laughs> um, and I'm thinking maybe this time, maybe this time. So I did it in that game. I did it a little bit in CS:GO. So overall, if including buying the actual game as well, most games are free these days. But even if including buying the actual game, it's gonna be like five grand. I'm gonna say. Because games are expensive, don't forget, 50 quid here, 50 quid there, that's only two games, you spent 100 quid already. Mm. And then <clears throat> stupid CSGO cases that never, never <clears throat> get me a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it was cheaper to buy a knife, I don't know why I didn't buy a knife. But um, yeah, I'd say, I'd say about five grand. Yeah, and to back to your point, Advanced Warfare definitely ruined. <laughs> it was such a good game. Dude, it, the just, speakeasy it, it, was a cheat code. That Yeah. I I never bought it. I never spent money on Call of Duty besides like oh, smart man playing smart the man. game to get the free COD points during the season yeah. pass to use it to buy the next season pass. Yeah, yeah, that's that's see that's how you should do. It. That's that's what a smart person would do. Yeah. Um. 
but no, yeah, it was uh, it was pretty it was pretty bad because every one of the guns had like it it, it you had an upper hand in some yeah. guns because like they had different abilities to them or different more damage or something or more accuracy yeah. or something like that. So like there was always an like not everyone could have it. So like if you had a speakeasy, you were always going to get shredded by the by the yeah. same gun that you had, but a different va- yeah. variant of it. So that that really that definitely was like a gambling game if if if, if, if anything. Oh, hundred percent. It was just gambling for kids. That's what it was. That's that's all it is. But but to be fair, the variance idea it was a cool idea. I liked that you could get different guns, yeah. and in in the start you could only get them from playing the game, which. It's not paid to win, but if you get, I don't know, I think I kind of like it that if you're lucky and you play the game enough, you'll get a good weapon. I can't, that's not too bad. I don't mind some players are a bit luckier than others, so they get they get a better weapon. Yeah. It's just a game. You'll, we'll get a new one in a year. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But the fact that when they started saying you could buy the supplier drops, like, and now it is paid to win because you can just buy new guns. So it, it's, a, it's a tough one. If they, if they never introduced the whole buying it, I think a lot of people would have been like, okay, whatever. It's a bit of a luck sometimes. Who cares? Yeah. But when drilling, it comes to money. Drill, drilling down more more into that, you saying that we're just going to get another one in a year. Do you think Call well, of Duty would, <laughs> would, would be better if they didn't do that? Yeah, definitely. I think they spend more time on their game. Well, anyway, yeah. they did. Back, Black Ops 2 was lasted for way longer than, say, oh, yeah. Vanguard. You know, Vanguard was... Oh, but, was so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, it's because they know that People are going to buy it anyway. And even if, even if they don't play it, it doesn't matter because we're going to get a new one in a year. If they made it, I think they were going to make it two years. I think they did make it two years, didn't they, last year or the yeah. year before? They made, well, technically, um, if you want to be technical, I think it's four. Because, like, you remember how they used to release Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Treyarch, Infinity yeah, Ward? Yeah, true. Technically, technically. Be, the, the different titles would be four years. But true, true. it would be a two-year span between Call of Duties, yes. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I, think, that's, I think that's a better way of doing it because... Games take ages to develop. Good games take yeah. ages to develop. And yeah, they can copy and paste quite a bit of assets, which will save them time, which I would do. I, I, you don't need to... Things like reloading and weapons and how they work and aiming and that. Copy and paste it all. That makes sense. There's no need to redo all that. But when it comes to things like movement, how they've just copied the Modern Warfare original movement, and then with Warzone, they just... Warzone 2 is just Warzone. So it's... It's too much copy paste. They've gone too far. And this game essentially is a DLC, unfortunately. It's a yeah. DLC for movement, but it's a good game. It's not a bad game. I've enjoyed playing it, but it's it's just a DLC with a couple of old maps thrown in. Zombies is cool. I like zombies. They, they've thought about that. Not a lot of people do like it at first. Um, I actually watched someone's video who went and backtracked on their statement. They released a video saying, I, d- I don't like zombies, blah, blah, blah. And then two days later, I think I commented on it, and two days later they said, Oh, actually, you know what? I've played it a bit. Oh, I actually kind of like it because it's a cool. It's new. It's yeah, new, so people it's like it. Yeah, even if it, even if it's shit, at least it's new. And I'd rather like Advanced Warfare jetpacks. Were like, Whoa, hang on a second. And the way they worked wasn't just like Titanfall and Black Ops Three. It was you could double jump if I remember correctly, and if you put the stick down, you could dodge certain ways and yeah. slam down. It was the movement was so good on that game, and I think in my opinion, better than Black Ops Black Ops Three. So I think just give them longer to think on it. Yeah. yeah. I feel just, like Modern Warfare 3 is um, advanced warfare without the jetpacks. I, I don't know if I told you this one. Yeah, you did. You did. And I, I see it, especially in um, the, the way it the way it plays. Like the, the way I'm, when I'm out aiming down, that's the way the guns look even as well. Yeah. It does feel like advanced warfare. I think it was meant to be advanced warfare too, if I remember correctly, because there was a few leaks a while ago. Yeah, um, saying that they were they were supposed to make Advanced Warfare too, but I think the Activision turned them down or something. Yeah, yeah. Ward I, or whoever. Best guess is it started out as that, and then they switched it, so that's why it kind yeah. of feels a bit like it. But I would have loved Advanced Warfare too. That game was, I, I, you could argue, whoever's game is childhood, they want the most, if that makes sense. So whoever, whenever you played it when you were a kid, that's the game you're gonna want a remake of. But I just think it was a good game. It was a solid game. Everyone, everyone shot it for no reason. It was a good game. Yeah. What is your favorite platform to play vi- vi- video games on? PC. And I'm going to get so much hate for that. <laughs> but um, I used to play on Xbox. And I used to have a, a controller with... Um, I don't think I have it on it anymore. Uh, no, but there's like a, a little... You know the things that go on here? I forgot what they're called. You can make them yeah. come out. Yep. Like an extra, extra layer of a thumbstick. And I used to have that because aiming on a controller is, is difficult. So having that little extra length made it so much easier. 
and well, you're after playing farms. well there's the as that as well <laughs> <laughs> um and after playing for years on console i felt like i hit a ceiling i could just never get better i was getting really annoyed because i always get beat oh, I was, when i was a kid i was getting a bit upset about it <laughs> yeah. even got my parents to come in and go sit down play this game and tell me if it's just me and they were playing it and they were doing well and i was like you know what <laughs> <laughs> So then my friend who's got a PC was like, oh, you should, you should, you should build a PC. I was like, oh, build a PC. Nah, nah. Costs a lot of money. He's like, no, you get, for a thousand pound, you can get a decent one last you like five years. Oh, hmm. Okay. So I did it. First game I played was Fortnite and the, the keys, I was like, this is difficult. Yeah. Year later, oh, I'm playing against cross-platform people, destroying them because they can't turn as fast and I can switch weapons while I'm at, I can, it's so much better, so much better. I don't care what the comments say. PC is the easiest to play on and the best. And you, oh, sorry, and, not the easiest, the best, just the and, best. And you don't think that uh, aim assist is overpowered? It's very overpowered, but it didn't Damn used it. to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh you, you disagree? <laughs> well, I'm a controller player. I've, I've played controller oh, for that's why, that's why. 20 years. I try, oh. dude. I'm going to be honest. I I've, I've been playing All right, so we'll get into this. Okay. I've been <laughs> I've been playing um video games for over 20 years. I've been playing controller for probably almost as long. Um I can assure any mouse and keyboard player that thinks that aim assist is super overpowered either has not used it or has not used it for an extended period of time. Okay. I have used controller for that long and I definitely think there's no statistics on it, but in my gameplay i have literally seen about 15 to 20 that's like max percent of your battles you will win because of aim assist that's even generous okay. most 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 likely yeah. um and uh i played keyboard and mouse on gears of war because i was trying to like train myself to like play on keyboard and mouse mouse easy super easy i can i can micro adjust i can aim yeah. so easily keyboard yeah. not so easy <laughs> oh okay i see i see so that's that's the thing that stops me from doing key for, from doing the keyboard part but um i actually thought about getting that like hand keyboard thing where you can like i forgot the hell Ooh. the name of it is uh, and, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. and use that but um I don't, I don't even know if that even connects to my xbox i mean i have an old uh, xbox one but you could do with um you could do with um so some mouse have I don't know, it's like side buttons right yeah you could do with one of those because half the time I'm pressing those buttons to activate stuff rather than the keyboard mm. like melee ping other abilities so That's you could try that idea. yeah yeah because uh, when you play controller by the way do you have um these back buttons when you play you, yeah but I, but I don't use them I'm, I'm an old controller controller player bro I mean look at my controller if you can even see it hold on <laughs> why well, is it is this Xbox one you said this oh Xbox yeah, yeah yeah like Wait, the... that looks the the looks... I, I I I have them, but I but I don't map them. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, okay. I don't I, I don't use them. I really don't. I I okay. I, no, am maybe a, I, <laughs> I am like a a, a Nintendo sixty four controller player. Like I don't I I use I do the old fashioned way. Like I use you know my thumb to like press X A B. Like I don't. Oh, you don't do. Cool. I'm not like mapping it with like my like fit my my other finger. Like I don't do that. It actually messes me up if okay. I do that. Uh, but that's okay, also okay. why I'm old and I'm not amazing at games anymore. But um, before all these fancy controllers came out, I, I was the guy that everyone hated. Yeah. <laughs> Me and my friends, we were the we were those kids bu bu bullying the, 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 the thirty year olds. Now I'm the thirty year old yeah, yeah, getting yeah. bullied. It is what it is. <laughs> Cycle of life. Um, but go back to the aim assist. Um, different games have different strengths. Yeah. So Apex Legends, I will die on a hill. That one, they've upped it so much. It's too. It's actually broken. Have you seen the videos of people doing it? It like uh, testing it. The whole it will move from almost one side of the screen to the other. That that can't that can't be that can't be allowed. <laughs> That's just too far. <laughs> I get that you've got this like tiny thumbstick, and I've got the whole desk. But that's too much. Um, you, in other games, maybe you're right. My my counter argument to to that, which which I've made in a video before, is um. A lot of the situations that people use to display aim assist are very controlled. So okay. by yeah. that, I yeah. mean not um, – it's a very, like, one in a million situations, right? Where mm. – did you, did you see the Halo one? The one where, like, and the new Halo, like, it was – the guy wasn't even there and it was, like, following the dude around 
in the I don't, that was on Twitter. I was big on Twitter. I don't think I saw that one. Or is it just okay. glued to him, even though we couldn't see him? <laughs> it was pretty much. It was pretty much like it's it's similar to to to, to the Apex one, and okay. I get why people think that it's so overpowered because of that. But when you're in a situation where they're moving in a non-lateral movement and like you get someone like Lemonhead, obviously that's like one in a million, but you, you, you get people that are decent at movement and you're decent at movement. That aim assist is not going to help you. Like it's not going to help you by, by trailing somebody that's tap strafing up and then left and then down and then right. And then they're, they're, they're doing super glides and everything like that's not going to help you. Okay. Unless you are very good with controller, then you know how to manipulate the system, which 90% of 95, 96% of the player base does not know how to do that. That's like top 1%. Okay. That's, that's okay. my argument, but you may not agree with that, but that's, no, 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 that's I, the way I, that I, I see it. I don't know enough to disagree with that. <laughs> so I'd say you're probably right. The, <laughs> I'm being a bit dramatic. The other argument, no, it's, it's fine. Cause like a lot, a lot of people don't haven't used it. Like I also tell people like that, say it's super overpowered after they see a video like that. I'm like, use it for a year. You use, you use it for a few yeah. years. I can tell you that you will end up experiencing it, screwing you more than helping you. Cause it does. You know, if there's That's two true, people yeah. that you're trying to shoot at, they jump around the corner. You're aiming at the wrong dude most of the time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I should think about that. I or, think or about if like somebody jumps things. the corner and then somebody runs across, you're 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 catching the dude that's running across. You're not catching the guy that's shooting at you. <laughs> that's happened to me. Okay, many you know times. what? You know what? You've changed my perspective. I completely <laughs> forgot about the bad things that can happen with it. I've just been so focused on the advantages. You know. Yeah. Now that you know what. I take back what I said, and because no, of that, I'll it's, say it's it's even. It's even. <laughs> don't don't take back what what she said. It's just there's arguments. I, I'm I'm not really trying to change your perspective. I'm just trying to give you different perspectives on it. Like yes, there's negatives, there's negatives, and there's positives to everything. So yeah, the, the, that's the problem. That I think a lot of the community doesn't do. They don't take in the negatives too. Like that's why I say like twenty percent is generous for you winning fights. And and a lot of the times in Call of Duty, I have. I'm like, where was my aim assist in that fight? Like, I'm, I was yeah. like, I could have sworn I was. I've, I've had um a, one time that I can specifically recall in, in Warzone where I'm shooting, and my aim assist for some reason is just not going on him. Like, I'm like, I'm jamming the joystick this way, and it's yeah. shooting this way, and I'm like, why is that happening? And like, and and it's just so, it's so hard to be like, yeah, aim assist is overpowered because I've been using it for so long and I've seen all okay. the negatives of it, so. Yeah, not to change your perspective. I'm not trying to do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, you've given me some valid points. I think I'm so used to I'm so used to Apex where it is I I, I will die on a hill. It is overpowered. They've they've tuned it up. Other games, you're probably right. It's probably not as bad as I'm making it out to be. But on yeah. Apex, have, have a look at some stuff. It's uh, I've it's I've played up. Apex a good amount, and I can say pretty much the same thing. There are certain situations where I'm like, wow, that was I definitely did not hit that guy. But yes, there oh, okay. again, okay. there's there's most of the situations that that I that I've been in. Like if somebody is on mouse and keyboard and they're a better shot than me, they're they're gonna shit on me every time. Okay. So at close range battles, I've actually I, maybe I just don't know how to like do the tricks that people do. Like where I've seen people do like the crouching thing, and I'm just like. Why? Why does that work? I do it. I I, I get like I, I get demolished. But like if some people sometimes if they're doing it, my aim assist just gets all messed up, and I'm just like, okay, oh, I can't okay. hit this dude. <laughs> so that's yeah, the situation the that, that that I get in. Yeah, the crouching. The crouching. Just like they're like, and you're like, it, it okay. works, man. It works. It I don't know why it makes ADS just accurate for no yeah. reason. And I'm sorry, not ADS hip yep. fire. Yeah, yeah. I've I've tried that that ADS hip fire thing too, where like you aim in quick, you like you yeah. you, you snap in quick, and then you you're crosshairs take a second or two to like go back out so you still have like a like a tight spread um but that also sometimes doesn't work for for, for me whenever i have the aim assist so sometimes i'll do that and then it'll be on them and they'll move they'll go for moving this way back this way really quick or something they'll jump or something and my aim assist will stop working so i have okay. to like physically okay. move them back i have to physically move it back past them so that it'll actually catch them I might do a video on this so I can research it a bit more because clearly I don't know as much as I thought I knew. Yeah, I mean, just let me know if you want me to do any stuff with you. But most of the time, I've noticed it just doesn't. It just doesn't work. It just it, it'll. Again, I could just be terrible. I'd... No, look, <laughs> maybe I'm just terrible. If you think if you think how many years you've played and how many situations you've been in, it it's it's hard to tell. You know? Yeah. Um, what's your, what's your, what's, what, blah, 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 what's your favorite game in 2023 so, so far? That's a tough one. 
Let me check. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to go I, through I, my videos. I, 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 prob- <laughs> I would probably say it's between it's between Overwatch two, um, and uh, NW three, purely just because of the zombies. The zombies is just so good. There was one on Steam as well that I was playing. Oh, ah, it's a sip. It's a line. My bad. Uh, oh. It slipped my mind. Oh, okay. it's, it's slipped my mind. Um, I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna stick with Overwatch two. If because again, if I had to pick a game, that'd be the one. And I think so far in 2023, it's all I've really played for fun. Really nice. Like, MW MW three, I, I play for fun as well. But so far, I've played it 90 percent just to get footage. You you still so, find ga- gaming fun, right? Yeah, yeah definitely 100 percent find it fun. It doesn't but feel like I've a really, job. Like, any, or, no, no, or not at all. Not at all. It just sometimes when I'm playing, I'll always have the recording software open. Just in uh, shadow play on, just in case anything happens. Yeah. And then when I when I'm playing, I think I oh, should I record that. Was that worth it? Would it just take us? But every time I'm think, oh, just play the game, man. Just enjoy the game. You know, just press record if you want to move on. Yeah. So no, I still enjoy it. I still enjoy it. Yeah. What uh, what game do you enjoy playing right now? Modern Warfare Three. Yeah. O- I just o- like over it. Overwatch too. If if you told me to play a game right now. Of what I want to play right now, the second it'd probably be yeah, it'd probably be Modern Warfare Three. Why? Don't know why. Uh, you don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Tell me. Um, <laughs> if I had if I had to pick a reason, I think it's that arcade style feel. Because like I said in Overwatch, you have to play as a team. You have to manage your abilities. You have to think a bit more. Yeah. Whereas in COD, I'm, I'm I'm still thinking of what I want to do, where I want to go, what weapons I want to play. But I'm kind of turning my brain off a bit and just going. Kill that guy, kill that guy, or oh, run away from that guy. It's very just fun. It's just fun game. Easy yeah. game to play. Hop in a game. And then zombies, even more brain numbing. Just just go through, just kill all these zombies. It's very satisfying. So yeah, I'd say that one. Yeah. It's more of like a laid back experience versus like I have to figure out what teammates yeah. wear and what's going on here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. If I could still play on controller, because I I can't have I've lost the ability to play on it, but if I could <laughs> if I could still if I could still play on controller, I'd play on controller and just sit back and relax. Yeah. What uh? What game do you dislike the most? Oh, it's a it's a tough one because you don't really think about the ones you don't want to play. You know, um, does it have to be in my genre or is it just any game? It can be genre? any game that that you've played or oh. that you. Have, um, have I think I think I was gonna say I think it has to be one that I've played right to not to then not like it. Like I could just say so many games. Um. Oh, that's really that's a really tough question. You know? <laughs> um, I actually. Couldn't give you one. A game that I don't like. I only play games that I like. Um, I'd probably say it's gonna sound really bad because I'm making videos on it. Apex Legends. Yeah. Only because every time I load that game up, <laughs> I can I just I load it up. One, it's not well optimized. It doesn't run very well on PC. Even though I'm getting a good amount of frames, like 180 to 200. Yeah. It's that's not what I'm getting. The input lag for some reason just exists. I've tried everything to get rid of it. it it's there. So that's the one frustration that is always there. I can't play properly because by the time I move my mouse, it's the tiniest amount, but it's there and it's annoying. Compared to Overwatch, which is just silk. It moves before I even move. It's just it's so not, good. It, it, it's, it's not your, your monitor? No, no. This is um, 240 hertz refresh rate. Okay. So it, it should be fine because Overwatch, even Modern Warfare 3, it's not as good as Overwatch, but it's it's input's good. But hmm. still nice and nice and silky smooth. You see, it seems to be just the way it's coded. Anyway, well, every time I'm playing and I, I'm, I'm shooting someone, and it's always kind of satisfying sound, satisfying sound. Maybe win the first fight, great. Here come twenty four teams over the hill when I haven't even you know got any new armor yet. I've still got one pistol, and it's like, well, this is not gonna be yeah. fun, is it? So what, what do we do now? Third party time. <laughs> exactly. It's all. It's just third party central. The game should should be called Third Party Legends. It's it's ridiculous. Yeah. So it's not fun. The team deathmatch stuff is kind of fun because the TTK is almost like bang on correct. I have enough time to think about it, but it's also not enough time to lose if I'm no one beaming someone, you know? Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think that's the game that I... Someone said, here's, you know, all the games today, Overwatch, Fortnite, uh, Modern Warfare 3, and I, I'd, I'd like been off, been off Apex, I'm not playing that. <laughs> Which is bad because I make videos on it, man. <laughs> so if they they reach out to me as well, please reach out again if they're watching this. I, I, I like the game. I'll play the game. It's just, it's just at the moment I prefer the games. <laughs> um, what what game that you ha- What game that you didn't play? Did you, you know, do you, do you think that you would dislike, okay. or do you, do you just you're just like, ugh, why why did they even make this? League of Legends. 
<laughs> Why is that? No one has fun playing that game. I've, I've looked at I've looked at streamers and I'm, I'm looking at the game. And strategy wise, oh, okay, I can see if you like strategy, it looks kind of fun. But I just I people get angry and physically you can't do anything about it because they're auto fighting, right? So physically you can't you can't do what you want to do and that frustrates me. I want it's, it feels like it's a bit based on I know it's not based on luck and I'm gonna get have a go for that, but it just feels like I can't help them. I feel like I can't, you know what I mean? Yeah. So League of, Le- League of Legends, it sounds stupid. Or oh, I've got another one. <laughs> Sorry, <Ed. laughs> um, World of Warcraft. Uh, yeah, they're I've, pretty much sim- they're pretty similar. <laughs> yeah, they're done by the same people, I think. Right. Um, it just looks, for lack of a better word, it just looks shit. All right, mm. I don't want to play the game. The graphics look awful. I run around to co- to 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 fight people to collect gear to then have better gear to go do that again. I don't know. No. <laughs> that seems pointless. I'm, I'm getting a bit. I'm getting a bit heated about this one. <laughs> okay, but yeah, yeah, League of Legends and uh, World of Warcraft just now. And, no, and if you. and if you agree with that sentiment, make make sure to drop a like. And if you yeah. don't, co- comment how much you hate James Flux. <laughs> <laughs> tell me in my comments as well. Follow me and tell me how much you hate me. <laughs> oh God. Um. What What mechanic in Call of Duty ag- aggravated you the most? In, in any of them any of them or in the new one whichever one you want to do um at the moment i don't know if it's uh the, the way it works but basically in Modern warfare 3 i love counting the gun because it keeps your sensitivity more or less the same it's it's slightly slow which is a bit annoying but it keeps it more or less full so i can aim in and still move really fast mm. however you have to press a button to do it right and that button i've linked to my mouse side of my mouse and it's the same as melee as I'm sliding, as I it, the gun counts automatically, right? Whether you've done it or not, whether you press the button or not, as you slide, it counts, which is fine, makes sense. If I then press the button on the side of my mouse and I want to say look, I want to count the gun, by the time I've stood up, count it for me, it melees instead. So you have to slide, stop, aim in, then press the button, and then you're counted. That is the stupidest way of doing it in my life. Why can't they just let me press the button while I'm slide cancelling? I, I thought they fixed it in the patch as well because they went, oh, we fixed slide cancelling, how it how it jumps. I'm like, oh, great. So I've gone in. They haven't fixed it. So that is the... St- I know it's I don't know if it's actually a mechanic. It probably it probably doesn't really count, but it, it, it's in the game and it doesn't let me do it and it's frustrating. So I'd say that is, is the most frustrating mechanic because the ca- gun canting is so sick. No COD has done it. That's the one new thing they've added. So cool. It looks awesome and I feel sick when I'm doing that and I hit a clip the other day that I used in the video where three people just lined up and I canted the gun and headshot them all. It was like, that is crisp. So that is really good. It's just wish I could press the button while I'm side canceling. And that's all. So, you, but can't you map it to a different button? No, you can. I've tried that. It's not the fact that it's mapped to melee as well. That's not the issue. It's the fact that it just won't do it. I have to ah. I have to be stopped. I have to be aiming it's down like a, sight. It's, it's like to a do perfect it. timing moment. Yeah. So you have to <clears> aim down sight. And while you're aiming down, if you if you do it as it's zooming in, ah, no, nah, it's gonna stop. It's gonna cancel it. So you've got to wait till it's zoomed in, then press it. That's too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna be dead by then. So uh, just let, let me let me do it as I'm moving in. Like you know how Apex and you crouch, it's almost like it's kind of half in half out. And if you crouch, it will hover yeah. in the middle. Yeah, do, it's doable. Just let me do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting really heated. These are two very heated questions you've got me on there. <laughs> well, um, I I had a follow up question, but it, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no the um let's see do the gun canting the slide yeah, canceling uh, stuff actually let's uh let's kind <clears> of <throat> what is gun canting for people that are watching that don't know what it is yeah i didn't know what it was to learn um, basically <laughs> uh, <laughs> so everyone knows hip fire it's by the side of you um it's spray pattern is all over the place right or you zoom in aim down sights ads it's super beamed great you could hit every shot Canting is kind of the middle. So instead of being here or here, you'll have it halfway and it'll be tilted to the side. I'm told in real life it's because it lets the person see a little better. If they're like, so if they're not super far away, but they're not really close. They're kind of mid range. You can see them a bit better as you turn the weapon. So it's turned to like a 45 degree angle and the spread is way tighter and um, it just feels way more, um, way more like movement based, especially for a movement based game. So yeah, that's gun canting. Nice. 
Excellent. Thank, thank you. Got a cool for, name for as well. Description. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like if you have um like an iron sight on your site on the side because I I, yeah. I forgot what game did. Yeah. That. Was it was it Advanced Warfare or was it? It was. That was Modern Warfare Two. Did it? Modern Warfare, Warfare Two. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. You could have two sights on the gun. I think you can do it in Modern Warfare Three as well, which is why they added the canting now. Yeah. But in Modern Warfare Two, you couldn't just cant it without the sight. You had to have yeah, a sight on it for it to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, what? Uh, la, 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 la. I'm lost. I'm lost. Uh, do you think Na- do, you, do you think Nadia was or is cheating? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know you asked that. I didn't look. I didn't see that one. Um, yeah, she's cheating. Come on, right? She's probably cheating. <laughs> so, I I planned on uh, dying on this hill too, but um, really, I made a couple of videos about it, and uh, it was more to, to me. It was more about bu- bullying this fucking girl than than it was actually, oh, yeah. you know, um, her being cheating or not cheating. Um, so a lot of people have taken clips, uh, that one clip, the one, of the most famous clips, I think you've, you've probably seen it. The one where she's like, like doing a one V three or something and yeah. her, like the dude lags across the screen. I don't know if she's on controller or if she's on mouse and keyboard. I haven't gotten that, 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 that far, but if she's, she's on, on controller, controller that yeah. will happen. That does happen uh, okay, for lag because okay. it's happened to me before. So, yeah. so I've made the counter argument that like that's literally just aim, aim assist, like just working at its fullest, but it's glitchy aim, aim assist that's working. Yeah. So okay. I've seen that myself. That's why I was like, that's not a hack. She's not cheating for that's not a good clip. That's not that doesn't work. But that's the most viral clip. So everyone like you know, well, you're stupid. You don't know what you're talking about. Wh- whatever. <laughs> to be fair, I have heard other people say exactly what you just said. Other pros come out and go, look, that's happened to me many times. Yeah. Because of how aim assist works, yeah. and because that person lagged, and the way the server connects everything. Exactly. Yep. So I get that. I get that. But there's there's a lot of clips, man. <laughs> yeah, there there are. I, um, I may have not have seen them all, but I've a lot of the ones that I've seen are just like I'm like she's that's not a good clip for her cheating. There's another one yeah. where. There's one where she like admits that she's cheating, like she's like telling the kids that she's yeah, on like her yeah, team, yeah. and I'm just like, that's not that's not real. Come on. No. Nah. Um, but I've been in her stream for quite some time. Probably I watched a couple of days in in a row for about two hours plus. Dude, okay. she was getting shit on. <laughs> not oh, this okay. was this was a while ago. This was when it was all big and she was cheating. Mm. I'm like. She cheating, man. She's getting shit on right right now. Like you know, unless everyone in the lobby's cheating, which I don't think that's the case. You, you know, she was yeah. she was getting like demolished, and I'm just like, okay. I don't know what these one off clips that people are like, she's cheating. I'm like, this is just not. But the thing is, I don't know if she was cheating prior to that. That's why I always say okay. she might have been, she could have been, but could be toggling it. She could, yeah. There could be other stuff that she has on there that she's using controller to toggle and get like she could I'm be using reaching. some kind of yeah. Chromus or something. I I don't yeah. know. But when I watched her, bro, she was getting demolished. I'm like, yeah, there's yeah. no way she's cheating. Like she's that's interesting. <laughs> okay, I mean, if if it was if all we had were those clips and there was nothing else, and I'd be like, you know what? She plays a lot of games. She's playing eight hours a day some days. She's going to have these one-off, even when I'm playing, and I'll get a kill, and I'll think, you know what, that looked proper sus. That looked really bad. And I'm thinking, but I'm not cheating. I know I'm not. But then, yeah. when she got flew out to the event, <laughs> yeah, yep. and her aim was... It wasn't that she was getting shit on. It was the it was the fact that her aim was different. It was yeah. just bad. Yeah. It wasn't like kind of good, and she's nervous. I get she's nervous, so her, her hands might be shaking a bit, but her aim was drastically different. Even the way she played, she... She just, she played differently with the knowledge she had when she was there compared with the knowledge she'd have at home if she was cheating. I can't say she's cheating, but yeah. if she was cheating, you'd play differently, right? You could see through the walls, you can you can see other things, so you know, you play differently. When she was there, she played like any of us would. The way she ran, the way she treated the lanes, she just played how I, how you'd think a normal person would play. Whereas when she goes on um, at home in those clips, even when she could see through, it looked like she could see through a wall, so we don't know for a fact. But Yeah, I remember that side, too, yeah. Is on the roof, right? Yeah. She started shoot. She started shooting. Like she was looking the other way, and then went like shot, and then looked back, and you could see her face kind of go. And then she looked back and started shooting before she saw him again, and it was like, yeah, you could have heard him. Fair enough. Your headphones could be louder. So we'll never know. Yeah, we'll never know. And I, I like that she's played into it. I yeah. like that she's used. Oh it yeah, about, but... she's definitely played into it hard. And yeah. uh, that actually was a clip that I th- th- thanks for reminding me. 
Um, <laughs> there is no context for that clip either. So no, yeah, um, the, no definitely answer. the hearing argument is a solid one because yeah. I I literally can trace people through walls yeah. with my headsets. Yeah. So it's like that's not that's also not really a hundred percent proof. The looking at the different monitor thing, I mean, I don't know, I maybe, but. I just can't really determine that as being yeah, she's definitely che- cheating. I mean, she's a streamer. She's gonna look at the monitor. I don't know what people. Yeah. I don't get that one. Even even I'm on a side like look. She's gonna yeah. look at the chat. She's gonna look over there and look back. Plus, yeah. if I hit a sus clip and I'm streaming, I'm yeah. probably gonna look at my chat and go, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start being like, yeah. <laughs> so I, I get it. I get it. It's just it's the amount. I think it's the just the sheer amount. And then when it all got to a peak, and then she went to the event. And her aim was just completely off. That is yeah. what sold it for me. Yeah. I was like, okay, I, I am about, I reckon 70% sure she's teeing. 70%. Yeah. I, think that's a, I think that's generous. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we <laughs> what don't do, know. What do you that's think? the thing. We don't know. I mean, what do you... I, I don't think she is. At one point, she might have been, but I don't think definitely okay. now that she yeah. was cheating. Um, that's interesting, though. That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't hear anything. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> um, that, that's interesting that you mentioned that you think she's at some points and not others no i didn't think about that i thought it's either on all the time or it's or you know it's not that makes a lot more sense because yeah she could have a button everyone said foot pedals at one point she started doing like a feet cam yeah. i think that's i think that was an excuse just to get her feet on camera to be honest <laughs> i don't think they actually can oh and, and she's made a have you seen her recent oh she's a, she's doing weird things right now yeah, she's um she is she's made the only fans yeah. for one i mean whatever make get your money fine yeah, exactly <laughs> but but then she went in the you've seen the hot tub video no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Long story short, she made a little prank that she basically like had diarrhea in the hot tub. Um, but then she a video came out later that she faked it, and everyone's like, "Did you make the video after that you faked it just so that you didn't think?" And then everyone's like, "Oh, we'll leave it. We'll move on." But that's kind of what happened. So she's 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 a bit weird at the moment. I think she's uh, struggling to deal with all the. Uh, you can get to you. Yeah. You can get to you. <laughs> that's what I also think happened at the event. But again, we don't know. I mean, I, I think yeah. a lot of this is all about mindset. So like she, all the hype and all the she's cheating, she's cheating, she's cheating might have gotten to her at the event. So that's why she played like crap. But who, but who knows? I yeah. will say one thing. One clip I saw of her shooting a dark corner. I have done that shit before. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you, so, a dark corner? I haven't seen that one. Yeah, there was like a door or something or like a window or something that she shot at. She thought it was a person. And I was like, if I looked at that quick while I was playing, I would totally shoot. I would totally shoot at that 100%. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I can, I can see where she's coming from with that one. That's definitely 100%. Like, th- yes, that's me. <laughs> I think if there was, like, if there was a, a person behind the wall afterwards, different. But if it's just, if it's just a quick a shoot up before someone was there, moving on. Yeah, no, that's, not that's well. That's what really. it was. Yeah, that was like she, like she, she. I think she double taked it. She looked at it and then looked away and then yeah. double taked it and shot again and, and I shot at it a couple of times. I was like, "That's a hundred percent. That's what I would do." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Yeah, uh, but that's one of the clips where they're like, "She's trash. She's so bad." I'm like, "Oh, I mean, I've done that before." So <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um, so yeah, answer maybe un- un- undetermined <laughs> nobody <laughs> undetermined. actually knows like call call a shame will be like she's cheating but like in reality we don't know if she's cheating unless we see her set up and we yeah, see if she's yeah. cheating or not but exactly i mean exactly. I, again at one point she might have been but we don't know yeah. i also started doing the research on, on her like when she was kind of big in the space so i don't know was mm-hmm. like last year or something like in the middle of last year was was when all the videos started co- com- coming out of her cheating or yeah, whatever yeah yeah so i mean i, I actually got <clears throat> i got i got banned from her twitch but basically, I've never, I've never spoken into her Twitch before, right? I made the video on her, the first one. They got a few million, so I'm, maybe she probably saw it, which is why. I've never been on her channel. I, I my Twitch is small. I've, I don't even stream on it. It has like three <laughs> followers. So I thought this. So I didn't even think about. it. I went to her, to her Twitch. I think, oh, you know what? I'll get some more footage. I'll hop over to her Twitch. I go to type. You're banned. Well, like, hang on. I haven't. I've never been here before. I don't, how can I be banned? How do you even know what my Twitch is? How, and then I'm like, I messaged my friend like, you're smart. Do you reckon she's actually like seen the video, hunted down my Twitch and blocked me? And he's like, there's no way, there's no way. So I was like, I'll appeal it. So I appealed it. I was like, hello. I, why am I banned? I've never been here before. I don't know what's going on. Can you um, help me please? Is it because of the, and I put in quotation marks, video? Um, and the appeal got denied. So she definitely saw it, and I was like, right, okay, well, <laughs> it's the video. Okay, good to know. Oh, damn, we are definitely going to make a clip about this, and we're, we're going to call her out specifically. and be like, unbanned James yeah. Flux. We're going to make a hashtag. I, I haven't even done anything in chat. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. It was funny, though. 
That's funny. Um, how do you think Modern Mon- Warfare Three will perform this year? Well, next um, year. I I think uh, I think people will enjoy it more the longer it goes on. Like with the zombies, everyone's like, "What's this zombies? This is just trash. We don't like this. It's too weird." And suddenly everyone's like, "You know, what? actually, it's just quite cool." And then they're gonna play the multiplayer and go, "These are old maps. They're trash." Well, like, oh, actually, it, it is kind of cool to play these old maps and this and that. I think it will be the one of the average cods that we like. That was a cool cod. And then we'll move on. Like if you don't. So what about the counter argument of people saying, "Oh, there's always a honeymoon phase whenever a Call of Duty comes out." You you don't you don't think that's that's gonna be the case now? Um. No, I think it'll be the opposite. Okay. I th- I think, like you said, I think they're shitting on it now. They hate it. They don't like it. And then they'll they'll slowly learn to love it. And it'll get to about three, four months before the new card. And they'll go, uh, they'll see the trailer and go, well, Modern Warfare 3 was trash, wasn't it? And then they'll get to the next one. I think it'll be, one of those, I think it'll be a curve. Everyone hates it. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. New card. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 was trash. That's what it'll be. <laughs> it's a take. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How do you think uh, the new Modern Mon- Mon- Warfare zombies will... Uh, perform in in sorry let, let me let me re-ask it <laughs> do you think the model warfare 3 zombies will outperform its pre- its predecessor Ooh. well yeah the recent ones like vanguard and stuff oh it's awful but things like cold war again cold war tried to do something a bit different we like different so it was fun for the first bit and then it got boring but with this because it's, because it's so open world and the whole three tier, three tier thing, no one thought of that. Bosses all around, free roam, other people that you can join your squad. No one's thought of that. I think that will give it a little longer, long, a bit more longevity. The only downside is the replayability. You're playing to get better gear, to play to get better gear. There's no, uh, there's just no end. You know, there's no. Mm. I know at zombies there is no end anyway, yeah. and you just keep going. But I think it needs a bit a bit of a different strategy for goals, some sort of goal. Maybe you could work towards, um, like, you know, there's seasons coming up. There's different bosses that go around the map. Why not just every so often have a new end game boss, make it so you have to do a certain amount. You have to do a certain amount of contracts this season to fight the boss and you fight the boss and you get a big reward. That would make replayability because then you have to play the game again and again and again, and you have to exfil a certain amount of times and blah, blah, blah. But now it's just, get better gear to get better gear. There's no reason to get it, you know? And I have seen a Discord where actually people have started to offer money for that gear. So if you have the gear, you go in with your squad and you can give them, I don't know, Pack-A-Punch level two, Aether Crystal, or you can give them a couple of perks to start with. Um, so, I hope it, I hope it, I hope it gets those changes, but I doubt it. I mean, have, have you played Out- Outbreak? Yeah. That was, uh, you don't you don't think <laughs> that the new one is pretty much that, but with some obviously newer mechanics like the team no, system no, I, and stuff. Oh, I think it's, I think it's way better, think way so? better, okay. w- way different. That one was, I think it, yeah, it was it was the blueprints for it, but they've leveled it up so much, yeah, like, so much. It's like saying uh, Black Ops Two zombies and Black Ops Three zombies are the same. Mm. Yeah, there's a round timer. Yeah, some of the weapons are similar, but there's you've got. Gobble gums, you've got the new sliding stuff you can do. You can turn into that beast in Shadows of Evil that when it first came out. So I just think, yeah, Blueprint was there for Outbreak, but they just turned it to 11 and made it so much better. Especially with the, I think the tier zones is what made it, is what made it good. That's a solid argument. I mean, I can't wait to make that into a clip. <laughs> <laughs> good, I'm glad. I'm glad. You, you're getting a lot of clips, and you're going to have a lot of clips, and probably a lot of hate too, and probably a lot of love. So we're going to see hey, what happens. Listen. I'll take it all. I'll take it all. <laughs> um, do you think the new model? Uh, sorry. Do you did do you? Blah, blah. Did you pre-order a model for three when uh, they first an, 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 an announced it? No, no. I was given a key by uh, Total Beach. If I if I wasn't given a key, I probably wouldn't have bought it, which says a lot actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I would have never looked at. I probably would have looked at a few gameplay clips to see if I want to make videos on it, and then I would have looked at it. I would have thought sixty sixty dollars. Nah. I would probably wait for Christmas when it gets on sale for like thirty five forty. I think thirty five forty. But yeah, I, I didn't order it, yeah. and yeah, yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you take zombies out, it is a DLC. It is actually like, there's no like oh it's kind of no it is a DLC. Put zombies into it. I think I think I think zombies. I'd pay thirty quid for zombies alone. I think any, anyone we we need a, a standalone zombies. That's just like a oh, zombies game. Yeah, with if all the zombies, all the storylines, oh. we just need all that. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. If I, I think it, any, any, anyone would, would, would pay $100 for that. Yeah, definitely. This is going to sound really weird and really, really niche. Have you ever played Spyro? Yes. Okay, you know how each there's an there's a open world in each level? And yes. in each open world, you can go into the portals to then do the, the story of that portal. Yes. Oh, wh- why not make it like that? So the, uh, you level one open world, yeah? Yeah. Different portals are transit or or town um and then the next open world is a bit bit harder different pulls for no other ones like uh i'm trying to think of one like the cold war the starting map on cold war what is that called um uh why can't this di- is the thing die di- machine <laughs> that one as in that's one of the pulls and then so on and so, do you know what i mean um, and you can transfer between different worlds so similar to how it is now in terms of the open world but there's portals everywhere i think that'd be sick um, if they do that, they should pay me because I think that's a really good idea. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe I could pay you one day because I'm making games too. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh nice man, nice. That's the uh, that's, that's, that's the ultimate goal of all this is to uh, create a gaming co- company, create a cloud gaming platform, and then um, cloud gaming platform. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. How would you deal with the input lag on that? Because that's that, still be, that's the, been a major see, issue. The, the the technology isn't there yet, but I think in the next twenty to twenty five years, I think we're going to be there. I, I, w- I would say even I would say even ten ten to twenty depending on how yeah. a- 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 AI goes. Renting games would come back as well. I sense. my idea is more of a, the Google Stadia route. Google Stadia did an okay. excellent job, but there's a lot of stuff that they missed as far yeah, as yeah. Um, making a customer happy. Um, I've talked to Irik of Awesome about this in one of my interviews. Uh, I've, I've mm. talked to a lot of people about this, but. Um, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff that they missed and, um, I need the money and the attention to be able to do what I need to do. <laughs> well, you're, you're halfway there with the attention. <laughs> you see yeah, the money. So, yeah. And, um, I created a mobile game, which I, I'm telling all the people that I have on that I'll, I'll send, I'll send a copy to you guys. You don't, there's no obligation to do a video on it. You don't have to, if you want to, you can. Oh no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a video on it. I'm doing <laughs> a video on it. <laughs> I was gonna, I, I'm, I, you guys can play it. Tell me how much you like it. Tell me what needs to be improved. Like I am only one person. There's a lot of things that I want to do with it, but like it just time and money is going to be the, the yeah. major two, two factors. Um, so Again, I'll send it to anyone. You guys do not have to do videos on it. Just play it. Tell me how you like man, it. Tell me how you hate I, it. <laughs> of course, we're gonna make a video on it. Come on, man. Of course, we're gonna make a video on it. <laughs> that's you, okay with you. Again, yes, it, it, it's all it's all up to you. I'm not gonna force anyone to do vid- videos on it. I'm doing my own vi- vi- videos on it, like to promote it and, and, and everything. But like again, if you want to, you can. There's no obligation. Already done. It's already done. <laughs> it's so already send done. it. I'll make one on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, so, do do you think Modern Warfare Three uh, is the final trip, which will cause Call of Duty finally plump plummet? For, from what from what you said before, probably not. But go on. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, I think if zombies wasn't a thing, yeah, I think if they if they just did a whole trash zombies, everyone would go. This is it. It's got that lifeline of uniqueness. Yeah. Once let's see what the next one is. Black Ops Six, Treyarch usually knock it out of the park. Even when it's even when it's trash, it's still pretty good. You know, what I mean? like it, yeah. it's not. 10 out of 10 but it's average for them is trash right yeah which is, is weird but so when they release an average game we're like well this is not up to your standard um so i think maybe Ops 6 will come out unless it's absolutely awful i think it'll take one more yeah. um purely just based on one that it's treyarch and two that we have this zombies mode that we do now uh, with its uniqueness so it'll be interesting it'll be interesting well the trailer will tell us yeah on, on this <laughs> on this podcast, I have been bitching about this for a while about uh, oh. <laughs> Activision making a making a split instead of making Treyarch and Infinity Ward compete with with one another. Let Treyarch work on zombies. Let Infinity yeah. Ward work on multiplayer campaign. Even Raven Software uh, yes. work on yes. Warzone. I've been saying yeah. that for the longest time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think now they're actually doing that, which I think. Treyarch is working on this zombies, which I think they are, and then they're working on the next zombies, which is going to be in Black Ops Six. <laughs> well, look, take everything with a grain of salt. As long as I say it at the end of the video, 
but this might not all be true. Bye. <laughs> everything's okay. <laughs> everything's okay then. That's good. Yeah, oh yeah, everything's okay. Hashtag not financial advice. Yeah. Um Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then if um, you're right, you can go, ah, look. Yeah, I see I, I told right. you six <laughs> yeah, months ago. Told, yeah. <laughs> Even though yeah. I made seven of the videos that were wrong. No, no, no. This yeah, one was yeah, right. This one was right, yeah. <laughs> um that's all that matters. Well, that's the truth. Is that's the truth and reality in success. You only have to be right once. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I've been saying for the longest time, especially like every, every, every year it was always like Treyarch versus, and then like it became like a mob mentality where it was like Treyarch versus Infinity War games. And I'm like, dude, yeah. they're they're all at Activision. Who cares? They yeah. Just make them work on this individual games by themselves. That is yeah. better. Just just let them work on the individual pieces that they're good at. Clearly we know by, by, by now after 12 Call of Duties, Treyarch is good at zombies. Infinity War is good at, can- at campaigns and multiplayer. And Raven yeah. Software's is if at Warzone, Infinity Ward may have to take over that. <laughs> I think, um, uh, is it the ones who made Advanced War? Sledgehammer Games? Yeah, they're under Infinity Ward, right? I think so. I don't, be. it's been so like crazy because yeah. Infinity Ward was first and then it was Sledgehammer Games. So, um, I think people from Activision branched off into Infinity Ward and then and then they got bought out by by Activision, which is kind of I- I- ironic. And then yeah. Activision, or sorry, and then Infinity War, people at Infinity War didn't like how they were running it, so then they made created slut, Sledgehammer Games. I see, yeah. So yeah. that's hilarious. But 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 anyway, I, and then I think now they're also acquired by <laughs> Activision, which is also kind of funny. But okay, in that case, they just get that team that made Advanced Warfare, get them involved in the multiplayer as well. Yeah, they exactly. and, and the campaign. To be fair, Advanced Warfare Zombies, again, it was different. So it yeah. was, it was, it's hard I, to explain. I enjoyed it. I, I yeah, enjoyed it, I enjoyed it as yeah. well. It was cool that you didn't have a jetpack till you bought it. Um, all the different perks they had. The maps, I think, argue, uh, this, I'm, I'm going to get hate for this. Advanced Warfare zombie maps were some of the best maps we've got in Call of Duty Zombies. I agree. I, I Thank you, but I don't think anyone else will. <laughs> good. Um, but that like, carrier, <laughs> like carrier was so good. The fact that you could go in this open area, but there was lasers that you had to avoid. Yeah. Or um, the, that really tight room where you threw the grenades in to get better rewards. Um, gosh, yeah, And the pack-a-punch, the way the pack-a-punch worked, could have been done a bit better, but it was still cool that you could just keep leveling it up over and over. That was so cool. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Because then it actually made you feel like you could win versus like you just yeah upgrading it three times, and now it's like the zombie health just increases infinitely. You, you know, you exactly. Know I mean? yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they they stopped that though in Cold in Cold War. The zombie health stops increasing, but the zombies get yeah. really hard. I was playing last night, dude. The zombies in Cold War on the second map. I think what the hell is it called? I, f- I forgot what the hell it's called. Um, the first map is easy. Di- Die Machine's easy, but like you get on the second like, Mauer der Mauer der Toten or something. That one's That's hard it, yeah. with the with the uh, the guys that suck your health away. I forgot. Yeah. The, uh, D- Dementor? No. Disciple. They do the same uh, thing disciple, in the new yes, zombies. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the disciples like that map. The zombies after like wave fifty get like really hard. They'd start like just whacking you, like windmilling. They're like they're throwing like t- Mike Tyson jabs. Like they yeah. really. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like I was like one zombie was around me and I like I got hit four times in two seconds and I'm like I like looked or, I like looked around and there was just one zombie just like you know like he like jacked you know with tattoos yeah. he was like he was messing me up dude. I was like it's what's happening. I'm surprised you still play Cold War. Oh, that's because I don't I don't really buy games anymore. <laughs> yeah. I also you know have what? the old I don't Xbox, blame you. <laughs> the Xbox One. So I mean I'm not gonna get a Series X. I was trying to get Mike Mike Microsoft or somebody that knows somebody at Microsoft to get me a free Xbox. <laughs> See, man, that thing is though, with with our stuff, that's the way. Before you think about buying something, think, hang on, before I buy this. Yeah. Can I get it for free? <laughs> yeah. And then just go ask. Because worst case scenario, they say no, buy it anyway. Yeah. Like I want the um, I want the Meta Quest Three. I was looking at buying it. I thought, hang on a second, let me just reach out, let me just ask. Yeah, because it's worth exactly. it. Because exactly. these got these these companies, that they, they will not notice a, a Meta Quest Three leaving them, or even an Xbox leaving them. They won't even it won't even take a, the smallest dip in their financials. Yeah. Yep. So and if anything, they're going to get a video for it. They're making a, the creator happy. They're building a relationship. There's no reason not to send them it. You know. Yeah, I mean, I I couldn't even reach out to anyone at, at Microsoft, so I tried. <laughs> Oh, you can get a contact. No, I mean, if you have one, send send it over. But I literally um, cannot find one. <laughs> I'm. I'll talk to uh, my Apex contact because they'll have an EA one, and then we can go through that. Nice. Yeah. No, I I'll... I literally couldn't find anything. I searched the entire internet. I searched their entire web- website. No, no marketing emails. No, like you know, client relations emails. Nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, it's, bro. It's probably on. 
probably on purpose. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. So they have <laughs> random content creators being like, hey, can I get a new Xbox? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you don't ask, you don't get. You know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, that's 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 what I figured too, especially about like the standing desk, you know, the secret labs. I was like, oh, yeah, might yeah. as well ask, you know, to see what they say. But no, if nobody answers you, whatever, it is what it is. Please send me that. I want a standing desk. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> if you can get one, please let let, let me know because I, I will be, I will be, well, you got more followers than me. They'll probably give it to you. I, I don't know, man. These days, um, with fo- with followers, it's getting diluted very fast. That's very um, true. 150k, I think I want 150k. 150k isn't what it used to be. No. But maybe a year ago, that's pretty good. These days, it's more like having 50. Yeah. So Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, well, I also think TikTok fo- followers are not as credited as YouTube fo- yeah. followers are. Def- 100%. Definitely in that. 100%. But, yeah. I'd say if you've got a million on TikTok, it's probably the same as 100k on YouTube. Yeah. Definitely. Which is so harsh, but it's just true. Yeah. <laughs> and most TikTokers would be like, no, it's not true. <laughs> yeah, well, it is. <laughs> Especially if you look at how much how much do you get paid for a, oh, yeah. a million subscriber channel or a million TikTok. The a million subscriber channel is getting paid. Though yeah. A million TikTok, you're still going to get a good, like, what, 10, 12 grand, but it's not going to be as... It, you, the, the YouTuber's going to get, like... Oh, what would you get for a million for a, like a, a not dedicated but a quick segment like 20k 15k something stupid like that some yeah you, you, i mean some people can even probably do like 10 to 15 or 20k a month with that with yeah that kind of it, following, it, if not it more. depends what um depends what you niche. if you're in gaming you could definitely do it because of how many companies there are yeah what is your favorite call of duty of all time i think you kind of answered this but let's yeah let's see. <laughs> Advanced Warfare. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong answer, but it, it is, it is the right answer. answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can see people typing, that's the wrong answer. That's no. The wrong, no. <laughs> well, if you said World War II, people would be very upset. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, to be fair, that game always goes over my head. Every time someone says World War II, I go, oh, yeah, they yeah. made that. <laughs> it, um, I think Black Ops 2 is not far behind it, but Advanced Warfare... The movement, it was, again, it was competitive. There was a yeah. skill ceiling because I had a chance to survive. I could double jump, dash, and maybe fire back. And it was just who had the better reign rather than who shot first, you know? Yeah. Who had the better positioning? And if you had the high ground, okay, now I've got the high ground. It's, whereas with boots on the ground, I know everyone wanted it, but really, they just wanted they just wanted nostalgia. Once that once that few, first few games hit, they were like, okay, well, I'll take the jetpacks now. Yeah. Because you've got to innovate. You've got to, get, you've got to change. You can't go back. I get you want to put old maps in there, which is which is fine, but you can't go back. You like the gun canting, great. Slide canting, that's new, love it. Let's let's get there's something out, something else now. We've done jetpacks. Maybe go back. Maybe advanced warfare combined that whole. I think they did have sliding. They did have sliding in advanced warfare because you use the jetpack to slide. It was really cool. Yeah. If they somehow just innovate again, again, I'm not. I don't make games. I don't know what you could do. The gun canting never crossed my mind. So whoever made that is a great, a great. Um, great person. Well, that was the military. That's just, that's... the military. Well, that. <laughs> I, yeah, I get it, but no one, no one ever thought. Let's put that in a game. You yeah. Know? So if they could come up with some other cool movement system, because I like the movement, it's really good. I want another layer. You know. Yeah. Makes sense. That's all I had for you. Oh, that's well. You say that's all. We've been here for the two hours. I mean, <laughs> that's you know, all. Hey, listen, that's all I got. <laughs> I uh, I also want to be respectful of, of of your time. So, where can uh, where can the people find you, James? Uh, James Fox everywhere. Uh, James Fox underscore. Actually, I made it unanimous everywhere. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So, okay. uh, go subscribe, go follow, boys. Appreciate it. Advanced Warfare, I like it, okay? Don't hate me. It's a good game. It's not, I've got other things, you know? And if you watch this far, make sure you subscribe and like the uh, the, the podcast. 